Verified Lost's Edge, man. It's been, it's been a lot of like real poppy hits that the world knows <laughs> past few weeks. It's cool, though. About to be on vacation, I understand. What did Rory say? I was unable to hear you. I feel like Verified may have lost his edge, that's all. How? How so? Are you playing the obvious now 24 records? Like, mm. no risks. I don't see no character on the chord right now. Wow, no character. No character yeah, on just, the chord. Yeah. You know, Take a risk. Show me who you are. Rory, you know, <laughs> sometimes, it, Take a risk. sometimes the things you say shock me. And, mm. and this is one of those times. I don't know if you're just hitting them with compelling content or you mean this. <laughs> now, so what I'm going to say is over the weekend, I was in my Eric Benet playlist bag. Okay. Unbeknownst to a lot of people out there, Eric Benet has like a set. Yeah. Eric Benet might be like R&B bleak. Okay. okay. I see what you're saying. How, like, long, how long was the set? My Eric Benet set? Yeah. I let it. It was about to, it was about a nice twenty five minute set. I let okay. femi, I let feminin, femininity rock, and that's a six seven minute record. Oh. All right, so that's half your set. <laughs> <laughs> nah, uh, hold up, don't do that. Don't make me pull up Eric Benet. Don't. Oh, see, and that's my point about his. He just said my chord has no character, but I don't think the niggas his age know about the Eric Benet bag. You're right. You're probably right. So, so, don't, right. so don't say yeah. that now when I, I start with Eric Benet. We know we know the hits. Was that it? No. Yeah, I didn't think it was a hit. I was that, talking more about the that, Montel Jordan. Oh well, that was my remix. second. Yeah, that was my second <laughs> joint for the youngsters <laughs> to get the, it back on the, for the back on the dance floor. Yeah, yeah. No, no, don't go to the bar. Come yeah, on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's in me still. Uh, Wait, y'all think y'all think Georgie Porgy was a hit? No. Popular. I'm about a hit. It's a hit within the genre, maybe. No, I'm still no, playing hit, it. Hit. Almost you, 15 years. I'm later, still playing it. No, why? No, no, why it wasn't a hit mall. If I hearken back to that time, and Harkin. old people <laughs> out there, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not googling. This is from my brain. They put that record out, and MC Light put her record out at the same time, and her record took off. Georgie Porgy. Uh, MC Light's record came out way before this record. This record came out in '90 something. And I th- <laughs> Light was probably '80, '88. No, 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 not Georgie Porgy. Ah, uh. not. Jo- uh, not Georgie Porgy over this. Hold MC up, MC Light's Georgie Porgy came out way before Eric Benet's Georgie Porgy. I'll Find out that. when MC Light's Georgie Porgy uh, came out, please. Savon is so confused on the names you guys are saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, MC who? And, and why? <laughs> and, and this is this is horrible. See, this is what Rory says about my iTunes. Why don't I have Georgie Porgy in here? Yeah, oh, here it is, is, right here. Lacking. Oh, it's funny. I, I blame Ice though, because I'm sure you have every Max B record that ever came out on there, but oh. not, <laughs> but not MC Light. Maul, talk real quick, because this is a travesty. That you don't Joe have MC Button. Light? Joe Button. MC Light was 91. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Georgie Porgy. Eight, eight years yeah. before that. Oh, that's way before that. I, I was listening to that on the Walkman. <laughs> okay, I so I take it back. I'm wrong, but I, I still don't think that was a hit. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. This was a hit. I think Eric Benet's was a hit too. Oh, damn. George did light so wrong. <laughs> Didn't George die? They were trying to make everybody die in the stories back yeah, then. That was hip hop, like the hip hop army <laughs> record. Yeah. Like somebody had to everyone, die. Everyone had to let's die. Girl had to get. I don't know. Let's, what, let's go to the end and see what happened to George. <laughs> We should definitely make a list, which we're never oh, yeah. going to do. Wait, how do you uh, leave? About all the records of people dying <laughs> in, in R and B hip hop records. <laughs> oh wait, Light told us how he died. Oh shit. Oh man. Damn. Oh yeah, George. Damn. George. George. God damn. Why are you going to put his colon on blast? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, MC Light? <laughs> yeah, can't I don't want to hear all that about George. Damn. <laughs> don't throw on Love Is Blind. Started smoking. He paid no attention when he yeah, started. Yeah, the choking. '90s was fucked up, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, why they couldn't make a happy song, a happy story? The beat was, was happy. The beat was very happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, shout out to Eric Benet for fucking chicks on Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Betty wish he could walk that one back. Why? Who he with now? I don't know. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? <laughs> what yeah, you mean? You, you that might that have a nice little. Who she? Yeah, fuck you talking about? Who yeah, she with? You, have you seen her? Who is she with? I have seen Who, she's, Hallie? Yeah. She's with the VMAs. Yeah, nigga, yeah. Knock it off. Don't is do she that. Good, though? But how, but how is she good and Eric is not? Tell I me. I just saw her in John Wick 3. 
Are we talking about MC Light or someone else? No, Halle Berry. Oh, Halle, okay. What was Halle Berry doing, John Wick 3? <laughs> Smoking niggas with two, <laughs> rot, two uh, German Shepherds All running right. around. <laughs> All right, uh, listen, welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, episode 255. If I'm not mistaken, I'm your humble, gracious, and grateful host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Uh, Maul is here. Parks is here. Hold up. Let me get this out of here. Get back to my normal screen. Parks is here. Uh, Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon is here. Let me get these drops out of the way uninterrupted. Hold up. No. <laughs> No. I ain't even take my stand no. out for the You're vacation your pod. Drop. No. No. <laughs> He's dying to say something. No. <laughs> it's a podcast. No, Joe Biden. No. No warriors. No warriors. God All right, silence. It. Parks Hive, here it comes. <laughs> here it comes, Parks Hive. You ready? It's hey. Park. hey. Uh, <laughs> All right, episode 255 of the Joe Button Podcast here with a few good guys. How's everybody feeling, man? What's going on? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to Pretty me. good, man. No, good. no, no. Give me more than that. Give me more than it's good. It's been five years of it's good. The weather, I feel great. The weather's turning. <laughs> well, I tried to be amazing one podcast, and then y'all killed me for 30 minutes. So now I just come in here and be good. <laughs> what part? What, yeah, what episode? What I said I was like wonderful. What like episode? I I don't be doing, wonderful. I was doing great. Yeah, don't do And great. then for the next 15 minutes, it was just killing me for yeah, being, being wonderful. Great, being wonderful. <laughs> yeah. So being I just come amazing. in here now and be like, yo, nah, everything's it's cool. It could be better, but it could be worse. How are you doing, Joe? I'm great. I've spent my weekend trying to figure out what you are spending your money on. Me? That's, that's well, why what, you always think about what niggas spend their word. This nigga Joe want to know what they why? Why does that mean Parks is buying wires? Because I do the accounting. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, you, no, you don't. <laughs> shit, if I don't. <laughs> <laughs> shit, if I don't. <laughs> I, I look at that accounting and be like, all right, wait a minute. Parks has done this four times <laughs> with yes. no uh, no new Levi's, no. no new Apple Watch, no yep. new studio equipment, uh, no uh, new girl. No, there's a lot of no new, new hobbies. You need a new girl. He, 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 all right, that has to stop. No, all right, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that <laughs> has to stop. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Got, yeah, so that's what I did all weekend. It was fun, Popular and guy. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. I bought a lot of studio I lost. Equipment. I lost my mental game that I play with myself. I okay. looked at a new apartment. Oh, Dope. Nice. Yes, finally, I'm getting in for an Aurora huh? penthouse. <laughs> no, but it did have a very nice terrace that I think I was. Ooh. That was a seller. I know, on I know, me. I know what that the costs. terrace is always a seller. Yeah. I know, I know, but it I know was what like, that costs. It was like a beast. The terrace is like the size of the apartment, and the apartment is. Pretty good size two bedroom. Nice. Mm, yeah. Humble, humble. Well, not so humble brag. <laughs> well, no, I just I have a, a building and a crane in front of me now, so I'm just trying to find anything. Yeah. <laughs> just want to view. It, wait, is it is it available? No yeah. one's in the apartment? I'm in there. Yeah. Find anything is the rather big crib with the rather big terrace. <laughs> that, <laughs> moving that's, on that's up. What, that's find anything nowadays. Yeah. Hey, I, I'm dying to get out of there. I have some friends that was dying to get out of their places. It wasn't, <laughs> it didn't go like this. With the terrace? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what Listen, Rory is saying, nah. Joe, they had the transition to get out. They had I'm, to stay I'm in a fit, Joe, if you know the places I have lived in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I like to hear about my guys doing good. I'm gonna man. go to. I'm, I'm I like looking for spots for us in LA this week. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Don't interrupt. Don't yeah. interrupt me, Maul. I'm just a little don't, don't But don't. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna say what you're gonna do, nigga. Okay. Right. That's what I'm here to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen, I want to dedicate this podcast to all of the listeners out there, right? Uh, especially the older ones. I was very shocked to see a lot of you while we were on tour. And when I say older, I mean 50 and up. There was quite a few of y'all out there, and boy, do I respect y'all eyes. Boy, do I respect you guys' eyes, what you've seen, your ears, what you have heard. I think that's lost amongst young people today. They don't give a fuck about older people. I want to thank you guys. With that said now, Maul. What do you feel about old people? Maul, Maul, Maul gave me a call over the weekend, man. And said, you know what? Enough is enough, man. Okay. He said, you had enough, Maul? He said, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. I said, Maul, what you about to do? <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and drop their membership in the Dumbo house, man. Get it over with. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, he said, he said. <laughs> Wait. No, he said, yo, man, I'm going to go ahead and get it out the way. Didn't sound like he was even sweating the price of it. Okay. I don't even think the price of it came up. He just said, yo, man, not, it's, it's time, man. I'm tired of going in there on my house. used to do. I need to just go when I feel like let the homies know, yo, this is where we at tonight. But who looks at the price tag is what the great Nicki Minaj would say. Mm. No, Rory wants a more beef with the bar. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't get enough yet. Nah, no, it was just because Maul bought. Never mind. Forget it. Well, Maul's a bar. Me and Maul. I know. Just trying to. Maul, what's up? You going to did it on him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Might as well. We might... I don't do nothing else. I need. I just need I a spot I can go to that's nice. You know what I mean? Chill. Good vibe. No, good food. No annoying 
bouncers. Yeah, yeah, just on some chill shit. Yeah. Man. Something, peace of mind, man. I hear just you. need peace of mind when I go out. That's yeah. all. That's yeah. fair. You know what I'm saying? Just peace of mind. Yeah, I gotta I think find I'm a with double you, house in Queens. Cause I want to go out, but it's like when I do go out to certain spots, it's like the first thing I ask myself, "What the fuck am I doing here?" Yeah. I've I mean, never said I that when I went you to. You don't Dumbo. get peace and serenity at up and down. No, <laughs> <laughs> I find everything but peace and serenity at up and down. At up and down. Yeah, I went to One Oak. I went yeah, to Marquee. No, my mood is up and down. I'm trying to find a new spot. I love it's being like, up and down. Y'all love being up and down. All of you people would be at up and down. I can't do that. I can't do that no more. So yeah, I'm I'm trying to get us in the Dumbo house, man. Let me know I'm paying too. Oh yeah, yeah the yeah, proverbial sure. us or uh-huh. the literal us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the literal. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's pull up. Listen, fuck what they doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you only have a plus one, Yo, hit my line. <laughs> <laughs> I, hear, I hear what they say. Yo, I'm all crazy, right? Yo, yo, let me know when the call comes through. I got it too for the double. Yeah, house. man, we gotta get um, in there. Yeah, yeah, we gonna get there. So, all right, good, good. We're all feeling good. We're all feeling great. Uh, this is our last. Po- this is our last podcast before vacation. Oh, let me hit that applause on them. So, what that means for the slower people? Uh, what's today? Look, I'm slow now. Wednesday. See, see what happens today when you is, talk about today people. Today is Wednesday the twelfth. You got to be what you want to receive. See, look how fast God to teach you something. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Saturday, we're not here. Don't look for it. Tend no. to your children. <laughs> <laughs> and if because of this podcast you haven't been tending to them in the last five years. Now's the time. Or go pull up an old episode. You then know? that's lit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we yeah. got a whole category. Yeah, catalog. Go, yeah, go dig something up that you might have missed in the past. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we will not hey, be here Saturday, and we will not be here on Wednesday. We will be back the following whatever date that is. I'm too lazy to even check the so date. Twenty. I think that's what? the twenty first. Yeah, yeah. Huh? The twenty second. The twenty yeah. second. We will be back. Oh, that is a fan. Give it's it to a, it's me. a nice little trip. That is a nice little break. That's nice. And I like to commend you, you guys. I want, I want to, I want to start this podcast fourteen minutes in just by thanking God. I don't think we've, I don't think we've ever taken a break. Uh, mm-hmm. There's been podcasts that maybe I've missed, or Maul has missed, or Rory has missed, but I don't think there's ever just been a stoppage of work. Uh, I'll take it a step further and say, for me to have a stoppage of all the works. Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful God is good. God yeah, is good. So I just want to take a second to acknowledge yeah, that. Uh, breaks are healthy. Get the uh, people a chance get, to miss us a little bit. And yeah. get and get some rest. Yeah. Put the yeah. phone down for a little bit. Discon- some sun. Disconnect. I've been some doing water. that a lot. I've been leaving the phone at home. It's Feels nice. fucking amazing. It's nice. I mean, you still have the Apple Watch, so yeah, like, don't... Well, don't Act like yeah, you. no doubt. No. Someone could call me if, I, if it's, it's different. An emergency. Yeah. It's different. It's like smoking outside in the winter. It's like yeah, you smoking, but it's different. It's different. It don't count. You're not getting all the pulls that you get in the summertime. So okay. it's, a, yeah, it's a little different. Uh, damn, I forgot what I was saying just that fast. Our trip. Oh yeah, disconnect, yeah. disconnect, disconnect. Yeah, we we were talking on the tour. I'm I'm scared of what a well rested podcast will do because we've been tired as fuck for the past three months. Yeah. Wait till we get some rest. <laughs> uh, I'd say that too, but I, I think we've been smoking some of these uh, uh, single Joe podcasts. <laughs> some of these just, some of these, some of <laughs> no, these I just do have too. rather good. With, with no rest. Yeah, I'm we, just saying. Back, let, in, back in a groove, right? Everything yeah. back, back in a rhythm, it feels like. Yeah. They're calling me weird and shit, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> They've always called you weird. It's okay. That's true. That's true. Mo, how are you, how are you spending your time off? Uh, Who are you squatting to- over? <laughs> it's mad days to squat. Yeah, no or, interruption. Thought it's about to be burning. Or, <laughs> I tell you, the love in the room. Um, I don't know. I'm going to LA. Squat day in the crib. Like, just in his room. Ain't even no oh, membership. Two, yeah, two days. <laughs> no membership. No goals. No Planet Fitness. <laughs> Nigga, just wake up and get busy. That's different. I'm not getting you busy, a Joe. different I, dude. I'm just going to LA to just chill for a few. Oh, days. you squatting at the canyon? Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> More got to give him the canyon. Work? Yeah, no, man, I'm chilling. Man. So you going to LA? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go to LA for a few days. Um, yeah, man, just chill out. Uh, I wasn't gonna cross the uh, the Atlantic, but I was like, nah, I don't wanna do that. I was gonna go somewhere that I've never been. Take a random trip across the Atlantic. You never been to Europe? No, I've been to Europe. Before. Okay, somewhere else. Oh, okay. Probably like, you know, okay. I've never been. I have but no yeah. idea where anything is geographically. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? So the Atlantic's between us and Europe. And Africa. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. You can judge me if you like. No, um, no once, once niggas start talking, about, oh, you're going over here to the north of that, then the yeah. right, right to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, like where you going again? <laughs> Where, where's Turks? Yeah. Joe, Joe knows DR in Miami. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Joe, Joe think you got to cross water to get the yeah. Yo, Rory, I told you that was the last of your little bad bitch jokes a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to sneak it you in a different yeah, way. Yeah, Miami man. definitely bad bitch yeah. trip. Yeah, come on, no, man. I know, I know you saw this vacation and said, take, <laughs> take me back. <laughs> <laughs> you pulled up the picture. No, the bullshit is, I plan, the, the funny shit is, I didn't really have nowhere to go. We was going to DR, and everyone out there will be happy to know the DR trip is canceled. I heard your prayers. I heard the universe. We're not going to DR. But <laughs> I planned the trip. So I could, so I could be sad in peace. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, if you really want me to get into this, okay, mm-hmm. please. And, and nobody asked me to get into this, but that was like a month ago. So now it's time for the trip, and I'm like, I'm sorry, a little bit. <laughs> like, I don't need that. Like we can, we can really record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should we, say, should we save can, this we vacation. Really, yeah, we can really keep going now. Mm-hmm. We got a groove. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all that. It's not a bad place. What you want me to do, Maul? I'm nothing. I, I love Miami. I got to I got to go. Yeah. I got to yeah, go, that's not, man. That's not a bad trip. Yeah, uh, once once you figure out that there's other things in Miami besides South Beach and like Collins and Washington. Mm-hmm. Miami's a dope city. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, there's there's good shit to do once you get or even if you do South Beach, who cares? Man, it's give, different if it's if it's there for just fun. Give, not, give me give Joe a room that he really, really likes. <laughs> Anywhere. Yeah. And watch. And watch this. <laughs> yeah. I just need water. Uh, I got to hey man, we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna hit jog and we're gonna zip line and we're gonna do jet skis. And, gonna, and I said, no, I'll be in the, the, zip, I'll, the I'll zip line. I will Miami. be in the living room. <laughs> you don't want a zip line? Zip line in Miami. I will be in the living room. <laughs> you don't want you wanna kick your legs over your head on the zip line? What I'm saying is <laughs> I'm gonna be in the living room. Mm-hmm. Okay. And don't let me sneak an Apple TV with me because I recently just started this handmaid's tale show. Oh, I haven't seen that. I've heard it's good. So none you, of none, none of y'all here watch that show, right? Uh, I, no, I just started watching it in the middle of whatever season is going on now because Sam watches. Okay, it. I'm not starting this way because we have to get into Khaled, and this is a music podcast. But let me just tell y'all, this show, and I've only seen two episodes, seems like one of them. Like I think like, it's been touted like, as such. It has, yeah, and it has been. There's a cult already existing. Yeah. I am late to the party. People have preached this show, preached it, preached about this show to me for years. Um, yeah, you're in a relationship. Your girl just ain't into certain shit. So you yeah, not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Once that's the, and I put it on, it's one of those. Is that Amazon or Hulu? Uh, Hulu. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that. It. Uh, they. Uh, I'm intrigued. It's one of Halfway those through it, that should have. A, in it. It's one of those that should have a cult. It's like mm. it's like when you first saw Breaking that's Bad. It was like, oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> uh, we watch like, I, Hulu. I understand. Like yeah. they, they they bugging. They bugging. Yeah. Yeah. Like that shit's I, about like, to happen I, in real life. And that's what's scary. Mm. That's the scary part about some of these shows, honestly. Like, and that should have been on the docket. Yeah. Like, the shows are imitating what's happening or what will be happening or what's, what we're on the brink of happening. And I think about that shit a lot. Like, I was thinking about that watching that Chernobyl shit. Even though that did happen in real life, it's like, damn, that shit could probably happen again. <laughs> Oh, well, the yeah. Simpsons, Simpsons told us everything that would happen. That's true. That is true. He go back and look at old yeah. Simpsons episodes. Yeah. Like everything they, they tried to warn us in the Simpsons. But yeah. I'm just saying, do you realize that evolution is happening right before our eyes? We take it for granted because we see it every day. So it, there, there are subtle changes to us, mm-hmm. but they're not subtle changes in the grand scheme of things. Right. It's like if we go tomorrow. Like, fuck if we go, because I don't want to, we're not getting sad on vacation time, but if you just look at where you were born, I was born in Spanish Harlem Projects, 1809. If you even look at pictures from back there, it's just fuzzy and cloudy, the stores, the people, mm-hmm. the style, the everything, mm-hmm. what they was infusing in the ghetto. Like, if you just start from there and then get to wh- whatever you think is happening today, even if you're a conspiracy yeah. theorist. Evolution is every day. Man. Well, it's, Man. Just, it's just different now because evolution is not us per se, it's technology mm-hmm. so while you're talking about in 1980 81 whenever he was born it was still evolution amongst people and the culture and how things were moving now it's just one big bulb of technology and that's what's having elevation it's not really us per se or it's how we react to technology it's not really within us anymore i've been uh and this will seem like a sidebar but it's not let's just get all the shit that can sound sad out the way for reasons that we that I won't explain, I've been delving into autism. Mm-hmm. Okay. And in delving in, you call around to a whole bunch of places, right? Mm-hmm. Do you, would, would any of you gentlemen like to guess how long the waiting list is <laughs> at damn near every autism center in New York and New Jersey? I'm pretty sure it's a few years. 
makes you think about that vaccine report a little differently. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is all I'm saying. Yeah. Somebody sure, talk. Okay. I'll find outstanding, and then we'll have a great podcast. Uh, no, I don't want to get off. We we jumped real quick. Savon also has a vacation. I just want to note that. Mm. Matter of fact, we we trying to focus on what Maul is he doing. Is also mm-hmm. heading to South Beach. Wait. That's <laughs> why <laughs> I, I tell you, I fuck with him. Wait. Uh, listen. I, I fuck with cause cause he ain't Left doing nothing lost. I wasn't doing at his age, man. You know what I'm saying? I listen, that's no, he's trying to live through him. Yeah, I get it. I get it. And a twenty three year old going to fucking South Beach. What are you supposed to do? Listen, man, I get it. And got a shirt and got a shirt on that say you wasn't outside. Wasn't outside. By the way, which well, none of us have that shirt. He gonna yeah, but, 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 <laughs> I mean he has the one of one. I'm I've seen, seen that but, shirt. But I mean I'm look, I. Yeah, I know, but I'm looking at the deeper psychology to it. We're all on vacation. How will he be identified and related uh relatably attached to the podcast? Podcast without a rec- recognizable podcast face being next to him. Why don't you go get a one of one shirt with a popular phrase? Uh, he wasn't outside. I see that. It's gonna say you wasn't in South Beach. Come on, man. <laughs> say, Vaughn, that's, that's I know on. you did. And, and, now, <laughs> and now that I think about it, when we was in Miami and we were all getting in the van to go back to the hotel, like a family, Savon said, "Nah, I'm good. I'll walk." And we were about five to six miles <laughs> away from the venue. Yeah, yeah. and then and, we saw and him was walking. Like three actually. bodies of water as well on the way. Well, well, and then we saw him walking, actually walking. Yeah. Well, Savon, not alone. Savon, I too will be out there, so don't fret. Yeah, don't fret. <laughs> and don't call me. <laughs> hey, no, no need to fret. Yeah, I, I won't be far. Mm-hmm. The do cam is still, still in the, the building. Do-cam. The do cam, yeah, yeah, the do cam be catching some wild shit. Yeah, the, Our, do, the do cam at Wet Willies. Oh my god, <laughs> nasty, nasty, nasty cam. Look, he is the nigga to plan he said, for Wet yeah. Willies trip. Exactly. Yeah, you know what? Enough him. <laughs> hey, what the motherfucker? You always play that one. Might as well fuck it. No, man. Yeah, it's not just delete uh, it. <laughs> Mic check one two one two. Yo. Yeah, relax. Might have to cock a, cock a nice little 16 up. Chef something up on break. Hey, yo. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Chef in the 16 on a vacation. Yeah. Yo, Savo, grab me a beer. My man. Yeah, we're going right. to make you work today. No since need the last to worry. Day. We got outstanding going Go play early. My number. Go put my numbers in, nigga. Hey, yo, <laughs> Savon, while you're in the kitchen, make us a sandwich. Yeah. Make me a virgin go, pina colada. Go, go going put my on numbers vac- in, nigga. Yeah, we're going on vacation, homeboy. Yeah, nigga, we're about to work your ass today, nigga. Hey, you have been looking sweeter lately. <laughs> Hey, all right now. Yo, Savon, don't buy no more water bottles with the nipples on them. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Those are weird. I also don't like the nipple bottle. All right, where where were we? Or where are we now? We're not getting to wherever we were. Uh, we were in Miami. Yes, we are now and back some in of New us York. Are in um, yeah, well, I'm done giving a and fuck about whatever Savon is doing. <laughs> we're talking to millions of people. The people in Africa don't care about what Savon's doing. <laughs> All right, where 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 would you gentlemen, uh, where would you guys like to begin? Slow news week. It was. Uh, Khaled seemed to take up most of my timeline in the past few days. Yeah. Khaled will be suing Billboard allegedly. Uh, for not counting his bundle packages, which was over 100000 which would in turn put him over Tyler for the number one album from two weeks ago. And we've moved on to other number one albums at this point. Because he bundled with a uh, pyramid scheme energy drink, apparently. Okay. Get your mm. bundles off, man. Mm-mm-mm. Hey, you know, in this life, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. That's true. And I mean, if he felt like he was cheated... Fam, mm. come on, come on, Talk come about on, it. come on, come on, come on. What? Prince did bundles. Ma, Everyone did Ma. bundles, man. We seen it. We seen this. We seen this. We seen, seen this with Travis yo, Scott. Yo, we yo. seen this. We seen this. Like yo. this ain't yeah. new. Yo, gentlemen. This is the new. This the new era. Gentlemen, I'm just trying. I thought we would have like more of a friendly podcast. <laughs> no, it's, it's very on. friendly. Yeah, but d- d- y'all gonna come in here and defend this honestly? I'm not no. defending. I'm telling you, it sounds like it. No, I'm not defending. I'm just telling you that. Clarify your point. He's not the first person to do it. I think he looks like a crybaby. That sounds like a defense. Not so a when you say I'm not the first person to do it, it's I'm just a, saying it he's not. This isn't like shocking. 
We we got that. Give me give me something else. We know he's not the first to do it. Uh, listen, okay. if he felt like he was robbed and he wanted to take protest against a billboard and figure I it out, tell me how y'all feel about it. Come on, uh, I think it's weird. Let's not waste time. It's not weird. It's not weird. It's not weird. I think it's weird. It's not weird if artists are doing it. But most people are bundling like uh, uh, buy two tickets at a concert, get the album for free or something like that. This is an energy or, drink or through a, 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 a pyramid scheme type he, of thing. He company. found a loophole. No doubt. He found a loophole. I don't really have that Niggas much Niggas killed Chris Brown that. when he put out all those songs. He found nah, a loophole in the streaming. That's different. To me. To me, to me, it's artists fighting against the, this system that's in play. Like, okay, y'all want to do the streaming shit? Y'all want to, this is how y'all want to start counting sales? All right, we're going to find a new way to start adding more sales. Is that fighting against or playing ball? I don't know that Cali I mean, playing is, ball could be considered I don't, fighting I, against. I don't, I don't, I don't, depending on how you play be. ball. <laughs> depending on how you playing. If well, you put into an arena talk, and be like, oh, that's how they want to well, do it, we're I we're talking bet. about Khaled specifically now. Mm -hmm. So you tell me, in your opinion, how he's doing it. Is that is you think that's fighting against it or more more playing ball? Probably fifty fifty, because he's in a he this is in, he's in a new the digital era and this is how people consume music. So he's now found a way Through to energy drinks. However, it may however it may count as a, a stream, a sale, whatever. Yeah. He's just finding different ways. I can never be mad at the artist for trying to get ahead of what the system isn't that that's in play. Sure, I can't get mad at it. Sure. Now, do I think that it was necessary that he went on this rant and, and shitted on Tyler? No, I don't think that was necessary because he could have not said any of that and still been like, well, listen, I, pl I played a different way. They didn't count it. All right, we're going to come back to the drum roll, give him something else next time. He could have did it like that, but he wanted to make a fuss. Like, nah, fuck that because y'all have this new streaming system in play. All right, so this is how we're going to do it now. We're going we're gonna to trick the system a little bit. We're going to find a loophole. To me, it's, it to me it's, it's showing your hand too much because we all know even before streaming, labels were buying hundreds of thousands of physical copies of albums. Mm -hmm. uh, in movies, they have been buying movie tickets nonstop. Mm -hmm. Like this obviously is a new, but now you're just showing your hand. Like kind of to Park's point, you're showing this whole little shit with an energy drink. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. just take this on the chin. Number two is fine. Your I first agree. album sales were fine. I agree last week. We love your positivity. You're just looking a little nuts now, and then adding insult to injury by showing us your, the trick mm -hmm. to how you were going to do that. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even the traditional shit like people love your merch or people love your shows. Mm -hmm. Did anything come out this week that he couldn't get number one this week? Because that's another question. Like, no. what did, no, I think Billy somebody got like, number one in the overall chart. Why not this push week? to get number one on the second week? Was that important to have number one on your first week? All right, all right, y'all are y'all are pissing me off with this nonsense that y'all are spewing. <laughs> what you mean? Because y'all are smarter than what y'all are saying. He found. He let tried me, to trick talk. the system. Let me, let me bro. talk. He we tried to trick that. the system. No, we know that. Okay, we know so that. how we sound silly. That's what he did. But let me let me talk. That's all. Okay. I I, I agree with you, but we're better than that. Let's <laughs> talk. If the four of us are talking, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with number two. But that's not what we're here to talk about. There's a reason why something is wrong with number two. There's a reason why this keeps coming up. There's something in contracts. There's some bump. There's some something somewhere that a lot kicks in if there's the number a number one. one. Mm -hmm. So, so I want to stop y'all when y'all say that. Well, we think it's okay to be number one. Yeah, number two. I mean, uh, number two. I'm yeah, sorry. Correct. Number two. We think that. Mm -hmm. Don't let's not justify why someone else should feel that way. He got some shit going on with number one that's unbeknownst to us. Oh, can we agree I can there? See that. Can we agree there? Of Very course. possible. Now, possible. Highly likely. Sure, there's now, a, somewhere in his contract. The next that thing that. I'm going to say is not an opinion of mine, but we are here to acknowledge the broader the broader scope. And there are some people out there that are of the belief that Khaled himself is a fucking caricature. Oh, yeah. There are some people out there that believe Khaled ain't even making fucking albums. You just making playlists mm -hmm. and tricking the system by calling it something else. Call it a fucking playlist. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's some people that believe that. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. believe that. I, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not there either. No, I've heard, I think, no, I've I think, heard I think that. that Khaled has paid his dues. I think that Khaled has a talent. I think the curating and putting a record together is talent. I, I, I don't agree with that, but... There are people that believe that. We've heard it. Sure. We've heard it, yeah. is, all, is all I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, and, I'm not, and I'm not mad at the attempt. So let's not talk about the attempt. We know mm -hmm. what he tried to do. Mm -hmm. We support that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, mad at, I'm mad at the attempt... Because to Parks' point, 
Everybody that has done this has done it smooth. Okay. When Hove did it with Kingdom Come or whatever that was, Budweiser, Samsung, whatever yeah. the fuck he did, Take boy, it, it was smooth. Oh, Magna Carta, Magna Carta yeah. on Samsung. Yeah. When he sold yeah, anyway, a million Budweiser, before, yeah. Budweiser with something else. They were else. with something else. Yeah, yeah Budweiser yeah, okay. with something yeah, else. And I'm not fact checking, so please don't kill yeah, us. This yeah. is all off the dome, freestyle off the top. But you remember, nigga. Boy, uh -huh. boy, it was smooth, right? I yeah. think Prince started it. I'm of the belief that every single time that one of these fuckheads do this or one of these labels do this, Prince should be getting paid. I think every yeah. single time y'all do a bungle pack a bundle package. Money to, should be paid to Prince's estate. That's my opinion. Let but, me ask you something, not to cut you off, Joe. W didn't you? Wasn't you two like the first one of the first to do that too? Like when you got the iPhone, the no, album was yeah, already. Yeah, you two yeah. made us <laughs> listen to that album. When yes. you got your phone, it was blank. Except did for that the count as a sale? I'm sure. Maybe yeah. I don't see why I'm not. Sure. That's crazy. Okay. I mean, so the industry, the same thing they do with weed and everything else, you know, they stopped some shit and then they allowed some shit, but they allowed it with rules. That energy drink shit that Khaled did, Billboard is right. That's against the rules. Yeah. Billboard is correct. And the rules that we have governed. Right. No. It has to be a music-related uh, whatever the wording said, mm -hmm. and uh, to make to add insult to injury, they highlighted the energy drink uh, place uh, doing uh, promos. You definitely can't do that. That's against the whole purpose just, of a bundle. Yeah, just, energy, just giving it out. Yes, <laughs> yeah. energy drink can't say, "Hey, buy ten energy drinks so we can give you X amount of Khaled shit, so so he can be number one." No, versus Tyler, who is putting his album name on buttons, and Posters and stickers. That's all he did. I think the bulk of his bundle, from what I read at least, was concert tickets. Mm -hmm. You buy two concert tickets, you get the album. The Prince. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. But it was also merch because Tyler, Tra Tra Tyler's a merch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And Travis did that too. Yeah. With, with the merch. last, and that was the Nikki versus Travis ordeal as See, well. But, and, but this beef is the evolution of that beef because uh, Nikki was mad that his bundles counted and hers didn't. No, no, right? I don't think so. I don't think because so. I don't either. think she had announced the tour yet. Yeah, she couldn't sure get available. her bundle shit off. I don't remember, and I'm not going back to fat check. But this one, Khaled is mad because he know the game. Mm -hmm. Right. Khaled is mad because I know the game. I'm damn near an exec myself. I figured it out. I came to Epic. We had a fucking plan. And outside of Epic, again, Maul, you say why niggas is mad at number two. You're talking about people that have business ventures in X amount of places, right? Mm hmm. The only time they're expected to perform is now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Khaled doing the four, have a blast. Khaled being the face of Weight Watchers, have a blast. It's, it's my brand. Mm -hmm. The music has to carry some of the stuff. I'm certain mm -hmm. he didn't need, I'm certain whenever he closed that energy drink shit, and I'm not certain because I haven't spoken to anybody, I don't know nobody, don't get me in trouble. Uh, when he closed that energy drink shit, the album was was in that conversation is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. So when your album now comes number two, it's not just the label looking at you. Mm -hmm. It's whoever the fuck it was invested in you being number one. So I could see a million reasons for him to get mad. How he handled getting mad against somebody that the public loves. See, Khaled can't be that out of touch. Yeah. You've made your living being in touch. Right. As a DJ... As a, fu as a fucking curator, as a promoter, whatever the fuck Khaled has been, he's been too much shit for yeah. me to know. Yeah. As an A&R, as, as an exec, yeah. you've always been in touch. Now, it just seems really out of touch. And Tyler has handled this shit like a consummate professional. Yeah, agree. Which is why yes. it looks away. Yeah. So, no more. Nobody's mad at him for trying to trick the system. But we'd be fools to sit here and say... That it don't look away. Oh no, it definitely, it definitely looks, looks away. away. Yeah. yeah, I think we've said that since last podcast too. But even I'd have to see what the verbiage is with that because I would have a quiet beef. It wouldn't be a public one. I would have a quiet beef that just because I found a way, kind of to Maul's point, just because I found a way to maybe trick the system and you didn't put it in the fine print that I can't do beverages mm -hmm. and I can only do merch that may or may not have anything to do with my album. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel a fucking way. Yeah. So change the rule after I'm done. Don't right. discount it because now you realize like, oh, wait, no, nah, we can't do that. I would feel a way too. And, and at the end of the day, the bottom line is if you have great music and a great project, 
That's well, always going to stand above everything else. See, that, see that, that's, that's, your, that ain't my bottom line. My bottom line is, why don't all you niggas start pretending to sell music if you don't sell music? No, you're, oh, they're, make they're music selling. If you don't make bill, music. Billboard, yeah. to some degree now, is just selling perception. Of course, there is actual liquid sales on that, and the cream does rise to, to an extent, but you're selling perception mm. from that degree, especially with streaming, because it's not something we can touch. Right. I used to be able to touch an album. <laughs> right. I knew what that was, even if the label was buying them back. Fuck that. It's still something I could touch. It, you're selling perception. That's mm. all you're selling. When you look at Spotify and it says six billion trillion fucking streams, that's a perception. Mm. Watch it. <laughs> slow down, slow down. <laughs> We're trying to go to vacation and come back. <laughs> You're only selling a perception because because even if it is to where streaming is, where it's fucking, you have to listen a thousand times for one album Sound. to count. Yeah, that's why Spotify puts those numbers there. It's like holy shit, this was streamed a trillion times. I gotta listen to this. It's mm-hmm. just a perception. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah. Billboard is a perception at this point to me. Let's take a Khaled sidebar really quickly. Because while I was home figuring out what Parks is spending his money on. <laughs> uh, now that I've gone to Atlanta and had a little, a, a little sit down with Russ, I see how he, how he is making $30 million a year. I had to go try to figure it out. Mm. Good for him. Good for him, I ask. We need <laughs> reparations. <laughs> we, need, we need reparations. So it wasn't a good convo with Russ? It was a great combo with Russ, but okay. but listen, I only I bring it. I only it's only relevant to the Khaled talk to me because there are so many people with successful blueprints how, wait, out wait, there wait, right wait, now. Wait, wait. Yeah, I thought. How is he making? Thank 30 you. Million a year? Thank you. Russ says that that <laughs> cult you. shit too. Because I said yeah. that, I, I said never, that, I said I that, and y'all was like whatever. Heard. I have never heard anybody playing a Russ record. I have never walked in the establishment shit, man. and heard a Russ record playing. I don't know anybody that's working out to his records. <laughs> I, I have never seen a, a Instagram chick post a video with one of his records playing in the which, in the background. Which makes which which should make somebody say, "How is he doing that?" And I just asked, "How?" Call well, it. and yeah, no way to his degree. Let's use Tyler as an example. And no way to his degree because Tyler's whole circle is way more than just music. And I I think Russ is to some degree. I think he's on that mini odd future shit, just not with a whole click. Like he has that shit where it's like, wait. Why is this festival sold out and everyone knows every word? I've never heard this song in my life. He's one of those artists. And it's all, right, it's so all let, cult so, so let's look at it this way. This year, Russ will probably do 59 dates, a 59-city tour at, let's call it 10,000 cap. And I'm we sure, gotta, and I'm sure gotta, those tickets ain't We gotta cheap. get on the road more <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I don't know what the fuck 15 days I don't know what, what y'all thinking I think you're right man Nigga listen wow. Wow. We can be no. in the road every week no. I don't know now, what the fuck y'all talking about Now, now I expressed to y'all I was real bad at geography But my math is kinda okay <laughs> So <laughs> So Just that fast That's probably half Yeah we gotta hit the road more That's the bottom line I don't even know nobody's ever been to a Rush show. Like, where the fuck is this money coming from, man? I don't know nobody that I have ever hit. Like, I, what you I, did? I, I like, y'all with the Rush The world show. is told, much bigger than your block, man. I'm not saying, I know no, you know that, but... I, I know people all over the fucking country. I've never still, heard that, anybody say they still, went to a Rush show. Fam. To some degree, you're still kind of in that same bubble no matter where you at when you deal with the same type I, of people. I know people in the music business, and I have never heard any one of them say well, they Ru- went Russ to Russ would show. argue, I think, well, that listen, he's not in the music business. But listen, let me tell you. I told y'all what John Manili told me. John Manili said, if you really want to know who's getting money in this business, all you got to do is look at the touring and look at the room. Yeah. So, look at it like, I told y'all I had that talk with Vince <laughs> when he told me what he makes per festival and I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't, I just kept throwing up in my mouth. <laughs> you're, you're missing it. Well, no, I, do you I guys remember, out, um, <laughs> I don't know if it was like 2011 or something when they put out the Forbes shit with rappers and do you remember the year, uh, God bless the dead. Mac Miller passed Rick Ross and everyone lost their fucking minds and were like, how the fuck like idiots. did yeah. Mac Miller like pass? And that was the height of Rick Ross. Right. Rick Ross on the Forbes list. Like, if you saw Mac, it looked like his name did not belong in the people he was surrounded by on that list. Yeah. It's Rest similar to that. See, that's, that's And Mac hit the fucking road. But that's that's something that I was, I think I was having a conversation with Joe. Somebody when Joe was like, how do you know that we're hot? And I told him, I was like, because 
you know, these streaming platforms, they don't have to give us the real numbers. But when we start hitting the road and you show me 2,500 people lined up to come see us, yeah. that's all I need to see. You can't hide that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So You can't fake it. You, you can't, can't fake yeah, that. Can't you can't that's fake. Same, and that's the same thing Russ said. You can, mm. this, this streaming shit, y'all oh, can, y'all can play the game. That is the same thing that Russ said. Play oh. the game with this streaming shit. But when we hit the road and when we walk out on that stage in Atlanta and that stage started shaking, yeah. you can't fake yeah. that. No. Like I know That's how I know Like when I told Joe I'm walking through Harlem And older women Are recognizing me That's well, not supposed that's to be they happening That's because they read Your dick yelp It wasn't because of the podcast yeah. <laughs> Maybe Whatever <laughs> But I, that hey, over, says, I, I was bored over the week I was about to send my shit in <laughs> <laughs> Like yo This is Tamanika <laughs> <laughs> Yo let me, let me tell you About Joe <laughs> Joe Joe <Jason. laughs> Oh boy! No, 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 Joe Biden. I would say no. I can't say my own shit. No, no, you can, you can. <laughs> I'm just, it's just, it's just great that you. That's what you think about over the weekend. No, but my very next thought was I would be the nigga that still give. It would end up being a bad review somehow. I tried to body it. <laughs> like when I gave the cops Michael Paul name and he had a warrant. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's just like go to jail, bro. Yeah, just, man. Just go sit you down. can't even freak your own dick, yo, yeah. nigga. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't deserve bad. it. You don't deserve it's a dick, yo. It's bad out there. Shit, I told you, me, shit, me and Rory was just having a conversation. I'm in the backyard trying to get creative for, uh, trying to get creative with some shit. I'm like, yeah, man, let's build a stage right here, man, for the pool party, get some tiki lights. I think we end the night with a little performance by by her. <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> what you think her cost? <laughs> I'm like, uh... You're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And listen, I was hey, in, I was in the it. idea, but I was that's like, it. all right, her you're wrong. doing the whole festival. Next listen, week. fam, her. Hey, I see why. Hey, I understand that whole. I'm not following any of you on Instagram. I get it now. Before I was like, why y'all doing that shit? Why? Yeah. But it was niggas like Bow Wow. Her doing it now. No. Now no, I get no, it. None of us are worthy. That's, that's a nut. Yeah. That's a nut. But you know what? She deserves. It. I would pay it. Oh yeah. Like if I got a raise. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Don't let that fall hey, on hey, deaf hey, ears. Hey, Spotify, I ain't gonna lie. Let me get some shit off my chest. Oh, <laughs> shit. Jesus. Listen, man, oh, just let oh, me no. know. Do I gotta extend my vacation? Oh, no. Do you know I gotta extend my vacation? Oh, no. Only Joe, only Joe would say, yo, I'm trying to get a raise yeah. and diss the company. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'm just telling y'all, before I get out of here on this break, I don't know how many more announcements y'all expect me to keep reading about, buddy. <laughs> before the big one comes, you're not feeling before the, the big announcement. Hey, I'll keep just potting away to a week every Wednesday and Saturday. <laughs> I ain't playing with y'all. Yeah. It's fucking Barack. Yeah, I told y'all they can hide the streaming numbers. They can hide that. We keep it them 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 them, them stadiums and them theaters. Oh, they can't hide that. That is pretty funny. They can't hide that. Barack don't give a fuck about our podcast. Oh, Barack, yeah. he know what we doing. We gonna, pull, we gonna pull up on the Barack Obama's. gonna act like he don't know us. He know us. Nah, if he know Lil Wayne and don't know us, I'm gonna be mad. Yeah, I'm gonna be mad. Too. <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. Wait, that's, a, that's a weird comparison. <laughs> no, because he's in hip hop. Yeah. I know, but and as much as I love us, I don't know if just knowing Lil Wayne automatically means you know the Joe Button podcast. Now, we're the Lil Wayne the podcast. I'm with you. I'm with you. That's all. I'm with you. Wait, hold up, man. You know what I'm saying? We had, you know that year Lil Wayne had when he was on everything? That's us? Yeah, that's us. <laughs> and n- none of us have done a feature, though. It's okay. We don't need to do feature. Well, now, you've, done a, you've done a couple podcasts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all done features, actually. <laughs> hold up, man. It's been a while. I'm holding out. Hold up, man. I think niggas forgot more. <laughs> oh, this is straight to Barack. Yeah, it's been Barack and forgot. Michelle. <laughs> Mo, I think Rock and Michelle As soon as they moving on the block We blasting this loud I, I, yeah, I, think, I think they might have forgot yeah. you know I mean, I Fuck know your, your noise ordinance I know it was your daughter's birthday recently yeah. <laughs> I hope, you hear, me. They I hope you hear me Barack Can only have one Rory in-law Hey This is my shit in high school This the energy I need before vacation. Yo, you at work right now. Don't wild out. Don't wild out. (laughs) Yeah, you got to go back. (laughs) Hey. This nigga trying to make me sad on the aggressive record. (laughs) Give me back her hand. Didn't uh, didn't you have that beat? Yeah, I did. I wasn't doing that to it. I like to look at dumb, <laughs> dumb ass me trying to be deep with a story. Nah, <laughs> that sample too good. Trying to be just rap. <laughs> that, that's what I was doing. No wonder fucking Steve never sold it to me. He said, "Oh, that was hot, but nah, we'll just go see there's Wayne the, real quick." There's this guy over here that's pretty popular at the moment. <sighs> that Wayne, that Wayne man. Uh, all right, what were we talking about? Anything important? Oh, what her gets paid for a festival? Yeah. That <laughs> uh, you and Russ. Oh, I'm telling y'all now. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. And I'm not. Y'all know I'm not festival poppy. That festival well, looks we, crazy. we know that. Y'all know I'm not Festival Poppy. Facts. 
and this is not an ad. I am flying to Concord, California, whenever <laughs> that Lights Out Festival is. Wherever that is. I have no idea where Concord, California is. Me either. But I will be there. That's the Her Festival? I am, that, is the, that is the Her Festival. It seems like I picked that festival. Sounds like one country. <laughs> That's how I felt about the Essence shit last year. Who's performing? Everybody. Her, Janae Aiko, Daniel Caesar, Lucky Day, Summer. Melly, Danny yeah. Lay, Ari Lennox. Summer Walker, Kiana Lede. Who else is there? I don't know those Tone, tone those Smith people. is dope. Oh, my God. I love Tone Stiff. Tone, tone, tone Stiff is, is rocking. That's my guy. Ari Lennox. Melly's on, there, on right? there. Yeah, Ari's on there. Oh, yeah, I got to go to that. I'm, what yeah, what are you talking one. about? The weed is already going. Ain't, ain't, nothing else, <laughs> ain't nothing else to do. The weed is rolling. That's what? Uh, that's September 6th? Uh, 14th, 14th. September 14th. Okay. Is, what day is, is that? Is that the Golden Gate Bridge? Fam, is that I, don't give, a, I, I don't, don't give a fuck. Where, I am going. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's an What is there. that greatness? September 14th is what day? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'll be there Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In line already? For real, I will be there Friday. I'm not. Damn. Uh, Concord looks like. Hey, I was correct. Yes, they, it's in and the bay. that looks beautiful. It's in the bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the bay, and the bay is great. I love the bay. I always take a nice little weekend. Yeah, that looks bay. beautiful. Y'all didn't hear me. The Google weed Maps? is rolled. <laughs> no, I heard you. Okay, <laughs> I'm there, man. I'm there. Uh, I don't know who we should talk to, but her. her? <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good, good luck. She charged good for the luck conversation. Talking to her. <laughs> Yeah, her she look like she don't, she look like she don't talk to nobody. Fan, when I saw her at the Drake concert on the riser in pitch black with her shades still on, I knew she hadn't spoke to anybody in at least four years. Yeah, I'm not talking. <laughs> hadn't said a word to one person. Why would she when you're her? I agree. Yeah. Mere mortals. Yeah, I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> you thought peasants. she was speaking to a mere mortal? Yeah, no, no, no. no I didn't, what? I didn't. You think I, I would have some nerve to go over there and say hello? Come on, Never. knock it off. <laughs> Can't talk to her. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to that. I'm going to that. Y'all say y'all say yeah, y'all going. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I can, road I, trip. I, I can, I'm going. I can book that <laughs> road trip next. to the bay. <laughs> Drive over there. I'm yeah, definitely there it. for that. Um, a lot of. I think I might fuck with this shit. Uh, on our vacation in Long Beach again. This isn't an ad. This is just a great lineup. It's called Smoking Grooves. Usher, Erica Badu, Daniel Caesar, Common, T Pain, Summer Walker, The Dream, Pink Sweat. That's this weekend. Ari Lennox, Far Side, Twista, Slum Village, oh, I'm out there. Phony People, who I love to death. Uh, and a much this? more. I was gonna, is, uh, I was gonna I'm go flying to, uh, from Atlanta to LA on Saturday just for this. Uh, That's a Saturday show? Oh, Long it's Beach. in LA. Oh, yeah. Long Beach. I was thinking Long Beach. Wow. Damn, Damn, I might have to go that to that. sounds nice. Oh, yeah, you'll be out there I'll already. I'll be in LA, yeah. I don't, yeah, me, like, me I don't more, like how y'all nah, move. What? Mixy Boy's gonna be in LA all week. I don't like how y'all move. How we move? Like that. <laughs> what? Because I'm gonna be in LA. Y'all just yeah, told me about a festival. I'm gonna go. Nah, that's shady. Now look, look out. If it was in Miami, you'd be like, I'm there. See? Nah, then I'd be like, you shady. Nah, that's just rolling loud out there. You know I'm not it's going. Over. I'm <laughs> never doing that. Rolling, now, rolling Seeing loud. Seeing you at Rolling Loud would be hilarious. Rolling Loud Word. is coming to New York. Like we asked for that. You yeah, know, I'm cool. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to that. <laughs> nah, we should protest. And no beef, because I think it's needed. Don't worry about it. But rain. It's not for me. You think the NYPD is the lenient ones um, that would be next for Rolling Chris, Loud? Chris Brown announced his tour. Him, Tory Lanez, uh, Ty Dolla Sign, Joyner. Uh, Joyner Lucas, and someone else. I don't have it because I'm off the dome right Chris, now. Chris, Tory, Joyner, Ty, Ty Dolla. And who else? Joyner. Oh, you said no, no, we said Joyner. Uh, There's one more person. Uh, either Chris, way. Chris, that's a great Tory. lineup. I like Joyner. that lineup. Ty. Chris, Tory, and Ty is probably worth the ticket. That's, that's that. Yeah. Yeah, and I get why Ty is doing that, and just in a selfish way, I would love like a solo or Ty be the headliner of like a Terminal Five type tour, mm -hmm. like not intimate to the degree, no, but it. you still putting three thousand people in or yeah. like a Hammerstein Ballroom mm -hmm. to maybe five thousand. Mm -hmm. I would like Ty with a couple other acts and him be the headliner, because yeah. Ty makes good he has music that you could hear intimately yeah. rather than in an arena with a bunch of Chris Brown fans. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, but I think I, that's why. Yellow you say? Breezy. Yellow Breezy. Yellow Breezy. Yellow Breezy. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I'm, Dallas, I, right? I saw a lot of people. I saw a lot of people excited about Dallas. it. So no, we'll no, see. that's a that's gonna be but a good, awesome. Time. What a great time! For, what a great time for shows and and festivals. Again, I'm not really into all that, but I don't know how you can turn down some of those. <laughs> yeah, listen, man, I already got three new marketing ideas for our next tour. <laughs> 
I'm hearing these numbers. I'm nigga, we we gonna be on the road. And I'll be honest with you, like with some of these artists, like Lucky Day performed it at our shit, so we've seen him, her, we've seen her, like we've seen a few of them. Some mm-hmm. of these artists today, I love that it's going back to some of them actually really giving a lot of fucks about their stage performance. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like there's like artistry seemingly back. Oh yeah, because everything is visual now. Like plus I'm, you gotta stand out above the people that are just singing over tracks. Yeah, let me, let me let me let me you know that that don't go that doesn't get enough props. That goes unsaid a lot. Shout out to all of the artists out there that are probably dumping half of the fucking uh finances back into the show, yeah. back into production, yeah. back into the band, back into just you're just paying it forward, just paying it back. Uh, investing in yourself, investing yeah. in your craft, and getting it back on the road on the back end, man. Because that, y'all are doing that, and and it's a, it's wonderful, man. Shit, on this, that, that's oh, what um. Not, don't mean to cut okay. you. I think that's you, what did, Drake, you cut me off, and I was trying. To, don't, I yo, my nigga, don't, don't, don't cut me off again. Bad, he was actually talking to me, but it's yeah. okay. Oh, so you no. pussy? You you gonna let him do that? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna, gonna let him talk to you like that? Oh, We're doing a podcast. I think we're doing a podcast. I think Drake went through that on the Scorpion tour. I think he started a few weeks late because production wise, he didn't have everything he wanted. And I think he flying Lamborghini yet. Yeah, I think he lost a couple million dollars doing that. Well, nah, if you remember artists the, like um, him, it, it didn't matter. Yeah. If you remember the Yeezy tour or uh, Yeezus tour rather, that mm-hmm. one with the big ass pyramid. That was one of the best shows I've ever been to. He had to do like another year of touring just to try to make up all the money he lost on that shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He lost so much money on that tour, but it was one of the better shows I've ever been to in my life. Genres aside, it's a great problem to have. Yeah. Speaking of Drake, he was coming out the tunnel while I at the game the other night, bumped into Taylor. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, you know, I'm saying thing. Bleacher Report was in the building. Yeah, new content coming soon. <laughs> new content Const- coming soon. Creators gonna create, Joe. <laughs> that 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 part. They gotta see? create. That part is true, Parks. <laughs> yeah. Um, so to wrap up this bundles conversation, uh, where do y'all y'all are all for it? Y'all are all for it? the loophole in the system. Creators gotta create, fight the power. That be. I'm, I'm open to artists getting money. Okay, Whether it counts the in the, the uh, billboard shit, I don't really. We all are artists. Well, we always, we always, yeah. we always say. Nice take there, buddy. Sometimes well, playfully, we always say, create, awesome. "Creators got to create," and I think that this is just a way that artists are creating, you know, to survive a system that's now put into play. They got to find ways to to move, maneuver around it. But I still think it's that, classism is what it is. Well, no, that comes it, down to perception too, because the billboard's not putting. I guess maybe if you have a number one album, more people may check it out because they see it's number one, but. That bundle package, just you're not getting more money from the music streams to make you number one. Of course, you're getting money the merch, but you could have sold that already. Your ticket sales as well. I have never looked at Billboard and looked at the number one record or Neither album and went and bought the number one record album. I kind of wish they would just do away with it because I don't think it affects their it does. money at all. It doesn't so affect. I, I just I, I, go well, back. Well, I don't know about the money, but it doesn't affect whether or not someone like me goes and listens to the music. That's just me personally. I can't lie. Sometimes I'll fall into. Uh, what is, what is the hype And I'll listen to something I'm guilty By looking at Billboard uh, Maybe just seeing people Talk about Billboard I, I, bought, I bought the fun album uh, After they had won All those awards That was a good album the, That was a great album Yeah that was, They got that right Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We are young yeah, yeah Yeah I was young uh, Arcade Fire was another <laughs> one That was, that was also a, that was a huge a, record though. That was a Grammy thing but Yeah but their album Was great Yeah It was They, you, they got that you right More so you found it Because of that huge record Right and that's what I was just saying. Music will always transcend well, all of the... But that's where my beef is in what you're saying. And that old adage is supposed to be right. Good music trumps all. It's like the ball don't lie. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe this is me being jaded. So let me acknowledge that before everyone calls me jaded. But mm-hmm. I mean, I'm jaded from my experience in the music business. It's classism to me. I would agree with you if the same opportunities were afforded to everyone. If everyone were able to utilize the same tricks of the trade and we could see who just fared better than awesome. But Khaled is in bed with Epic. Mm -hmm. So I don't really feel like that's what's happening. He's afforded certain luxuries. Freddie Gibbs can't go to some energy drink company uh, for his Mad Lib project and say, yo, 100,000 of these, sneak it in. Mm -hmm. Like, he can't. I would love to see what would happen if he could. (laughs) Right. So uh, even that fun album I was just talking about buying, uh, they bodied the awards, and I'm sitting here saying the awards got it right. Yeah. Uh, there's plenty of albums that just aren't afforded that opportunity. You mm-hmm. can submit all day. You can submit, submit, submit to you blue in the fucking face, my nigga. You will never see the light of day of this ceremony. <laughs> yeah, right. So I would agree with you if the classism in music were taken away. 
and in, until that happens, and that's and that's really what and that's really what a big part of of this of uh, uh, DSPs versus the labels is about. The mm-hmm. labels have a strong control of things, especially if we can control the market share. And by that, I mean control the artists. If I have a, a strong grip of what Taylor Swift, Drake, and uh, Ariana's doing, then I got y'all. <laughs> right. I got y'all. It's like that. In the streaming, because it's all readily available to all, mm-hmm. there is no, there's not really classism there until the labels interject and start putting Cardi B shit on podcast shit and, and just spamming shit in the farms. And, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The labels- I'm off on a tangent. Maybe a lot of people have no idea what I'm saying right now, but it's just classism. That's, what, that's it. That's uh, what, I, that's see, I, I, see, I see how you tie that in. To your Cardi B podcast shit, I'm still waiting for how they're going to switch that rule. At some point when podcasting gets to the mass popularity that it can become... Like now? It's getting... It's, already, not, it's not to what it... The they're potential already projecting it a plateau. They know, they know what time it is. We're, we're, we're in the now. They're we're in pro- the now. They they're project. already projecting a, a plateau of uh, ad revenue. They haven't for, figured it fair, out. So fair. yeah, you're right. Well, not my yeah. point. But I want to know when they're going to have that, and it's not happening on this podcast to all you people that think it does happen, because I have read that people do think this. That there will be a payola when you can play a record on a podcast that gets one million hits a week and you have a one million streams now added to your shit. That should happen. I don't know why that's not happening. Yeah, it's but essentially radio. Listen, it takes it takes these these dinosaurs ages to update. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if you're counting streams and a song is played on something that streams, yeah, then those streams should count. They only don't count because y'all y'all have yet to have control. Over the podcast ecosystem, mm. right. the second that you gain that control is the second that you'll start counting shit. You'll probably even hang it over our heads. Hey, we'll count the shit if X Y Z. Hey, I'm gonna say suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. so, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll end it. Suck my dick. So you're, uh, you're anti bundle counting. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. I think that there should be a different system for it to just to just infuse it into album sales is misleading, confusing and not really representative of what you, the information you're trying to give. You're telling me that whoever sold X amount of albums, which is already con- uh, confusing because how albums are consumed nowadays is through stream and through stream. It, it's only worth 14 hundredth percent of whatever. So right. the stream, how you got to this number. Oh, and the song you put out last year, if it did this enough, you could add it. It'll count to maybe the total, but not week one. And do that. And now if you go and do a, a deal over here and they sell X amount of concert tickets, now your tickets, and I don't want to have to pay attention. I'm not even going to your shows, but now your tickets are involved in that. Okay, so now, and, and y'all are doing all of this to hit a buck fifty. Mm-hmm. I want to put this in perspective. Y'all are doing all of this to hit a buck thirty. I don't know if y'all are really crunching numbers. <laughs> that part. I don't. I, I, I. You can't be. You can't be. You cannot be. Or maybe you are. There's some information that I'm missing about this number one album shit because I've never been that successful. Well, I was just but I'm say, trying to tell you something, buddy. That's why the number one may be more important I'm now. Trying to ever. tell you because they're not really moving a lot of physical number one. Right. So it's like they still want that number one. I had a number one album. Yeah, but no one still sees like. Billboard playing a whole trick on us and making themselves relevant with these rules because obviously if you're buying two concert tickets you probably have the album Mm -hmm. you've probably been counted as a buy or you actually bought the album right right you guys are just making Billboard matter the more you try to manipulate them and be mad at them no they're happy you're doing this bullshit Mm -hmm. because it makes them relevant and it makes Khaled get in a fucking Maybach in the back seat and say I don't give a fuck about that weirdo music my shit number one Billboard all this shit like so no do, one cared so then about do it, that. Do it, then, then do it to Freddie Gibbs. Then do it to Freddie Gibbs. Because Freddie Gibbs would love to see his number go from 40,000 week one to yeah. 70. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. Boy, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all this shit is just... 
It's so like we're, we're, fight, we're fighting for Billboard and just making them more relevant in the process when it doesn't particularly matter, to your point of, we're doing all this for 130,000 records. That's not even really that many records. That they won't pay To you. fight Billboard for what? Well, meanwhile, I just want to know for what. Do you guys see that Rolling Stone is doing a chart separate? They're doing their own chart that's more based on internet streams and such. They're doing like okay. a rival chart to Billboard. They announced that a couple weeks ago. Rolling Stone, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I want to stop that. <laughs> stop it. Someone answer me. Who the fuck are they? Rolling Stone's a pretty big editorial. I know. Editorial. Now, who the fuck are they? Oh. What is the difference? Between who the fuck are y'all? Y'all don't come tell me what's what. Rolling Stone. Y'all tell the white niggas what's what. My ears don't need to hear... You're not going to come and be the competitive shit against the shit that we've been hating. Oh, we'll do it, right? No, the fuck no. you won't. No, Rolling Stone uses, uses hip-hop conveniently when it works for them. Like, and com- if it like doesn't, Complex, it's like all of... Like everybody hey, else. Get yeah. the, the fuck... World. Hey, hey, we don't need a new wrong. <laughs> well, don't, I don't, don't, I don't, don't be wrong see, better. Yeah, 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 I'm cool. <laughs> don't be wrong better yeah, than they I'm were. Cool, <laughs> I'm cool on that one. No, Tell Billboard to fix it. That's a bar. I like that. We don't what? need we don't need a new wrong from Rolling Stone. <laughs> that's funny. Man, bring that's the source back, <laughs> Elliot. If that's what we're doing, don't tell me about bring the basement back. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell me about what Rolling Stone is gonna do for the culture. And that's exactly what I said to Russ when he started. You know what? I'm gonna save that. That was a real good interview. That was a really good interview. It was really good. Has Russ matured since his last uh press run that he did? Uh I don't know if rich niggas mature. Okay. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. When you make thirty million dollars, it's tough to mature. Yeah, Ru- Russ to me. Sorry, when I, when I watched that first, <laughs> but he's still young though. Oh, super young, and, and that's the thing. He said uh, he got four more years. He not said mature. He said, "Yo, it took me all this time to make thirty million. I said, "Yo, you gonna get punched in your face? <laughs> you, you you gonna stop talking to me? <laughs> you, you better watch your fucking." <laughs> you're no, you you, you know are twenty six little whippersnapper. <laughs> Yo, it took me so long to make thirty million, fam. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my balance. No, <laughs> and you're gonna, you gonna relax, Russ. And granted, I haven't heard him talking a long time, but Russ to me is like that kid Listen. that went away to liberal arts college and then came home for Thanksgiving Starting. and swore he knew everything at the table. And he's like, "Yo, can you just shut the fuck up? Because you have no life experience." And that's the, it's tough to tell niggas that made thirty million dollars that they don't know nothing. Yeah, it's, it's true. It's tough. And it's they tough. have a point by saying, "Well, clearly, well, why not?" <laughs> you know, he know, <laughs> no, he knows. They have a great point. He knows something simple. Live on the road. Yeah, live on the road. But do that when you're 26, because when you're 36. Yeah, but he's doing it. A lot of people live on the road. People yeah. ain't living on the road in ten thousand people venues. Oh, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, that's tough. Clearly, there's definitely a difference. But there's no, and I'm not. Sh- I'm not shitting on. I'm not shitting on Russ at all. I, yeah. I think it's great what he's doing. I think that Russ and Uzi, because I I left there feeling like I figured it out a little bit. Okay. And I'll give this away, even though the interview is not out. But it's such an amazing interview that you'll you'll watch it. It's a great interview. Uh, <laughs> Russ, listen to you, Russ, Repu- Republican Joe. It's an amazing interview. You'll listen to it. Don't worry. I know you'll listen. It's amazing. <laughs> Because you're not going to see me, you're not going to see weirdo A and weirdo B next to each other like that. Very rarely are you going to get two weirdos together like me and Russ who are just going to be able to say whatever to each other. Hmm. You're not going to get it. Find me two other weirdos. Nah, All the ones I can think good, of, they won't, get on, they won't get on camera. That's what I mean when I, when I say that. But uh, Russ and Uzi, uh, at the precipice of SoundCloud... Good, good SAT word. They did it. I only know it because we're at the precipice of this. Great. Mm-hmm. But certain people have been at the precipice. Their audience that none of us can understand. Some people can understand Uzi shit because he's young and he didn't know all that saucy swag shit. But Russ, you don't hear his music anywhere. You don't hear anybody bumping it. You don't see that in gym. You don't know any girls. Blah, blah, blah. First thing I said when I went over there is, yo, you need some bitches. Like, you're too successful now, no bitches. He said, I got them, but I make them sign NDAs. She's different. I don't move like the rappers. Huh? I get it. Weirdo. <laughs> I understand. But uh, what was I saying? What was I saying just now? I was getting no point. I was getting no point. Uh, Uzi and... Uh, oh, SoundCloud. SoundCloud. These guys started at fucking... Started at the beginning of SoundCloud, rolled the wave to the top of the SoundCloud, and all they did was just keep putting music out on SoundCloud. SoundCloud was their DJ clue for us. So the same way we just kept feeding mixtapes, and it popped, and it worked, but they didn't have a hold on that system because the industry shunned mixtapes, so you can't get paid for that. You're just doing that kind of black market. Now they have it, figured it out. Mm-hmm. So you just keep feeding, feeding, feeding something that you can monetize or get some metrics from it. That's what he did for like six years. So mm-hmm. what we and, then, and then he put an album out. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Not, not, it's the same exact not, thing that they dissimilar. made me do. Yeah. Yo, go heat the streets up and put an album out. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Different. I was talking about even the podcast. What do you mean? Tell me more. I mean, it was a SoundCloud podcast, and now it's a bigger platform. Oh, I understand that, but it, it wasn't just exclusively SoundCloud. It was on Apple. It was a few. It was a yeah, few that's places. True. That's true. They just milked this one place that Maul wouldn't miss, see everything. I wouldn't see everything, but somebody seen it because mm. both of these shows is is it is yeah. it is there? I'm gonna go to a rush show. I just gotta. I gotta. I gotta Sammy see put it. a record out two days ago and it hit a million. I'm not saying, listen, my audience don't give a fuck about Russ probably. I'm only bringing it up because when niggas are successful, if you want to be successful, you should try to figure out and ask how. Yeah, of course. That's it. He put a record out a few days ago, and two days later, it hit a million streams. He makes good music. He does. I've listened to him. Now, we can attribute that to farming, farming, if you want, but I don't think it's the case with him. That's a no, natural. I think he has that. Real he got fun. an audience somewhere. I yeah, could see why some people would yeah, think if he's it is. He's packing ten thousand people into an arena regularly. Then, fam, I mean, if we could no put farm. if we can put ten thousand people in an arena on a regular basis, nobody will ever see. Then you would never hear this podcast again. <laughs> you will ne- no, you, will <laughs> you, would, you would only hear it live. You will never. There see would be me no again. audio. Spotify deuce has been real. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this has been a, such an amazing run. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's when you come to work and just and just hold your hands and say, "Yo, wow, man, look what look." Man, yeah. God is yeah. good. No, it would be yeah, every, exactly. It would exactly. be every Wednesday and Saturday. Ten thousand. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> Listen, we on our I, way. I don't know geography that well, <laughs> but let me tell you something. God damn it! All right, uh, what else is going on in the universe? Uh, we can stay music. Ouch! Uh, Nas announced Lost Tapes too. Nas is coming. Uh. <laughs> Nas is coming Nasty Nas Nas is coming Don't act like y'all didn't hear the ad living in the back Y'all heard no, no, Nasty Nas <laughs> Y'all didn't say that, that was your part? Yeah. That was definitely your part Come on, come on. I was young as hell saying Yo, yeah, that's Dre Look at Dre <laughs> Nasty Nas Nasty Nas is Dre. coming <laughs> Didn't they start that record with a I thought tap? that was hard <laughs> No, I'm not gonna play it now because people think we be shitting on Nas, and I love that record. <laughs> I, just, I don't know how people think we be shitting on Nas. That's it. Because we, we shit on the one Nas because, album. Because we dick eat hove and we and we shit. But uh, they like each on other. One album. Yeah. Like they're friends. That shouldn't count. Yeah. Yeah. They like love each other. Nas, man. Yeah. I don't know well, I'm definitely looking forward to Lost Tapes. Fam, I wouldn't even have New York bias. How could you have New York bias and hate and hate Nas? Yeah, it's not possible. Or dislike Nas. It's not possible. I wouldn't even trust no nigga from New York like that. No, can't do that. Um. Well, did you see Lost the, Tapes uh, too? This is that album. This is that album that he was making when Kanye interrupted him. You think so? One hundred percent. Yeah, it might be. I don't know if it had the title Lost Tapes too yet. It did. Yes. No, it, no, it, 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 it was. This but was supposed to be the album. Maybe if this. If this is wait, true. so Kanye made these tapes lost. <laughs> Kanye lost the tapes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone who thinks we shit on Kanye, I, I like Kanye. Everyone relax. <laughs> but he, he do lose Kanye, tapes occasionally. Kanye stole the tapes. <laughs> He stole the tapes and then came back like, nah, I had them all this time. Bro. Yo, <laughs> did any of you guys see the promo for it? I did. With the tape with the eating holes through it. This is why I just love Nas in his the age. The tape of like bad soap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did. yeah. The tape was probably I, so. I could just like, see. Oh, oh, detergent. <laughs> I could just see how confused Nas was of like, this is what you now have to do mm-hmm. to announce music on Instagram. Yeah. I could see like, all right, so I just hold this? Yeah. <laughs> I could see it in his face when that's, he was holding like, all right, that's, uh, that's it? That's why we hate Nas. <laughs> Huh? That's why they think we hate Nas. <laughs> no, I'm I'm mm-hmm. saying his age, like he's that's yeah. <laughs> dissing someone for being. The, I didn't say the year they were don't born. Make don't make it weird. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep, just keep going. going. We're doing great. Just keep Talk going. through it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just thought it was funny when you try to put an artist that's not from this era of social media shit to you then announce to, game. to announce a tape on Instagram, yeah. and he's just standing there like, all right, so this is it. Yeah, just hold this, and they're, they're gonna buy it. <laughs> They're going to download it? Like, I don't have to go see Angie right now? <laughs> that is the case. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the producers that were on that album at one point when I was in the studio. They had all the names next to the songs in the Pro Tools folder. I was like, ooh. Man, we know that's, that's going to be project. We, we know what time it is. <laughs> yeah. Park. Park. No, I just hey. want to drop that subtle flex hey. right there. Hey. Hey. Listen, I just Park worked out in the studio, Park man. Park does that quite a bit. <laughs> he drops a subtle flex quite a bit. I don't know if anybody <laughs> notices out there. Listen, a little man. bit. A little bit. He's got a nice lineup if that's the case. This is definitely the album he was working on, though. Yeah. What What else is happening? Any Any more albums coming? Any more? Uh, Return of the Dreamers three, Boss and JID were talking about it, and I think just now everyone in Dreamville changed their Avi to a yellow circle. Just Ooh. now, this so just, just in. 
You mean we're getting this in real time, Rory? <laughs> Break, breaking news. That means that means, that means all. J systems. Cole has changed his avi. All systems oh, activated. Oh, all systems. All systems everything's been activated. Go. Everything's a go. Oh, this means they're preparing for peak. What was that? Did you say? Come on, give it popularity. to me. Popularity. Peak popularity. popularity when it's changed the avi time. You know, you know it changed. Means Come on, put, you know it changed hey, the avi. He put the call in. Jid. <laughs> It's, it's time. time. <laughs> Yo, you know that yellow picture I sent you? <laughs> Avi. <laughs> J. Cole fucking phone inbox so weird. He just started hitting all... He hit a little pump. A little pump. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. I'm like, I'm not on Dream Building. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> my, my, my bad. Phone. My bad. Wrong number. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hit little yeah. Ari Lennox. <laughs> <laughs> I would swear to God I would prank call I would call if I had his number. I would prank call his phone all day long. <laughs> Cole, Cole type weird nigga, he'll, he'll go along with it. He'll sit on the phone with a prank call. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Like, but yo, but tell me what you what you going through in life though. Like, what's the problem? Why are you doing this? Oh, <laughs> you no. trying to talk you through no, the prank? I'm yeah. cool. I'm cool. And cool. it's a little odd that you sound just like Joe Budden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Joe can't change his voice at all. Even when he changed his voice, it sounded like Joe just Budden Joe. changing yeah, his it voice. Yeah, sound like Joe Budden changing his. Yo, voice. you sound like Joe Budden trying to do an impression of not Joe Budden. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, well, I'll do a little Parks Flesh. Uh, I heard some of it. Um, JID is definitely the standout on everything I heard. Uh, there's one you particular. Dig-y. That's oh, a rapping ass nigga. You dig eating right now. Now you jump joining in on it. <laughs> nah, just, that's oh, a rapping ass. Both, uh, both of y'all hungry. And there's, that's there's, a rapping ass. There's nigga, one. Man. There's one particular Cole verse on there that's different. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Rory is such a hipster. Hey, he heard something that, you know, Yo, I, I, mean, I clicked over Rory's Insta snap the other day. It was like a fa- faded picture of a fire hydrant in the summer. I was like, Yo, come on, Rory. It was not like, my Instagram. Just stop it, man. Stop it. That wasn't you, Rory? Just stop it. Enough, bro. Rory hasn't seen a fire hydrant. Don't give me the picture, you seen of, a fire fire hydrant picture of a fire hydrant in the summer. I hate life. Rory. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I just want to know, anytime I've talked about an album on here prior, I'm shooting a thousand, but you got it. Mm. Yeah, no, I'm bad at a thousand. You got it though. Is he? Let's let's pause for a second. He was right about Jim. He was. Let's give him hundred percent. That's true. He was um, bobbing his head. What right, other album? Was right about Ari. Did you come in here and say, "Hey, I believe y'all, he did. don't"? Yeah, I all right, did. all right. You get two for Ari. Uh oh, there's more. Emotional oranges. Your album is good. So My that's album's three. Good. Emotional yeah. oranges. Uh, emotional uh, oranges is four. No, that, that should count for one. His, <laughs> Ori's album and Emotional Oranges is one. So you got three. That's true. They're what other albums you came in here and said was so... I'd have to think, but there's def- uh, All Love Lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's four, though. <laughs> Rage, Some that, Love that, Lost. That, that, that is hard. All Love Lost is up there. Um, yo, me and Rory were talking, we ain't heard the mall stamp in a while. I know. It's been a minute. Ooh. Damn. You it's know, been quiet. The, the, street, the streets ain't producing? Stamp yeah. lost some value out there. No, no, I'm just taking a few the millions. Dried you know, up. I got to do it right. Mm. Mm. Got to do it right. Got to really, got to really A&R yeah, out there. Got to do it right. Mm. Well, but don't worry. It's, it's coming. Don't don't fret. No, don't fret. <laughs> it's it's, it's don't happening. Don't fret. Yeah. <laughs> don't fret. <laughs> Maul be fretting sometimes, too. Do I? Maul frets a lot. He just don't He's a fretter. Yeah. I'm a fretter. <laughs> Ma, don't DM me no more and talk about the highways. No, nah, I just gotta don't, respond. Don't, but don't, I, don't, don't, when don't. I see you in the streets on your on your IG on your IG story, I gotta respond to it. Let don't, my don't. nigga know, you I see you. Okay, I know that highway. I know what back block you just came down to get on right there. <laughs> Joe's in the Bronx. Yeah, I know where he was at. Why Joe by De- a white stone on the bridge? Yeah. Why is Joe by the white stone bridge? Yo, yo, what are you but, doing but, over but there? Why all is so stupid? Because, what are you doing over because there? Because who gets into the psychology of why people post the highways? Yeah, because I'm like, yo, what he doing over there? I'm, yeah. I'm being chauffeured somewhere. Nah, but you what going, you doing over going there? Northbound. I'm being well, you, have, you have no business going that way. Well, so was <laughs> taking me somewhere. Oh, okay. He got lost, okay. or he was no, that no, was no, where no. you were supposed oh, to you're be. Oh, you going to so spot? No, no, no. I was traveling. Oh, yeah. Okay, but where? On that highway to the Whitestone, and, and, and I said, that "Let bridge, me search. I think that's let me give it to him. That's one of the quickest <laughs> ways to the airport. So that let me know. Okay, Mom, you know what I'm saying? I don't know no, what he was doing. I, wasn't doing I don't you know what he was on. I wasn't doing nothing. I just wanted my nigga. Man. I just wanted my nigga to know. I saw he was moving around in the streets, and then he called me, cursing me out. Mm. Yo, don't DM okay. me. All right, man. All because right. don't DM me saying, "Yo, I see you outside." Yeah, because you don't be outside. Maybe you were going to the beach in Long Island. 
<laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> then nice Joe weather. called me one night. He was out. He like, yo, it's lit. I'm like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the phone on the couch. Like, I got basketball shorts. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, yo, it was crazy. I'm like, all right, buddy. <laughs> yo. Why you ain't call me early? It's crazy. <laughs> Nigga relax, yelling over the music. Relax. 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 <laughs> it's crazy. You know he was like this, too. You got to do this in the club. It was. <laughs> <so> <laughs> Nigga gotta do this right here on the phone. Yo, you know the funny shit? Yo, for as for as raw and unfiltered as y'all swear we are, let me tell you something, buddy. I have at least seven stories in the tuck <laughs> that I wanna give y'all so bad. <laughs> oh, that's some funny no, shit. Jo- no Joe Biden. At least seven. Do they, I want, do they I want, have to do with the white stone? I want, I want to give them right your way. They, but don't, they don't pay us enough. Oh, yeah. No, nah, Spotify, turn it up, man. Turn, <laughs> turn these contracts up so we can really get in our content Damn. bag. Y'all know I'm saving it. Yeah. Y'all know I'm saving it. The numbers are going to be consistent. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> we want <For> sure. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yo, it's hey, hey, the third quarter. Hey, if you add that, listen, nigga, my 39th birthday is on the way. Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. Hey, if you wondering why the next spike ain't. <laughs> <laughs> why I didn't hit? <laughs> Look at Roy pussy. <laughs> Bro, Roy, Roy taking fucking, we all lit, nigga. Yeah, we I don't all know lit, what y'all nigga. talking about. We all lit. Know. Shit, they act like you know what we talking about, though, nigga. Oh, they? shit, man. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> oh, that's some funny thing. <laughs> I was reading my phone. I honestly have no idea what y'all talking it's about. It's okay. All you right. with us though? Just oh. know when the shit. No, of course. Hit, when the shit go down, yeah, you with us. That's yeah. a, that's no, I'm with y'all regardless. I'm, I'm just honestly reading my phone. Sorry, what y'all talk about? Psych. <laughs> Kidding around. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> no, LOL. <laughs> sa- <laughs> saves everything. LOL saves everything. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Uh, what else is there? To, what else is there to discuss? What else is? Did there? y'all watch the uh, Black Godfather documentary yet? Oh my god! Yeah. 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 No, I did. Where's that at? I did Netflix. 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 Oh, okay. Clarence Avon. That's what it's called. Yeah, the Black Godfather. Yeah, man. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that's it. another thing that had me into just you have to respect eyes, mm. eyes. Realize, realize, realize. Man, man. Where, where were you when you first heard that? <laughs> when you stumped? <laughs> that, that, yeah, one, that, that one stumped hip hop for like a year, <laughs> yeah, right? Word. Real, real eyes, real eyes, <laughs> real lot. <laughs> Who was that? Was that Doom? Who the no. fuck said that? Doom. It was, it was Doom. one of them. Yeah, <laughs> it was well, one of them. It might have been CL Smooth. CL. No, nah, but then then Wayne. Then nah, Wayne nah, no, 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 no. Wayne Smooth. Wayne came in and remixed it and said, "Wear the latex before you get that latex." Saying, "I'm latex," and I was like, "I right, fuck the the eyes and the lies." Yeah, <laughs> I need to get some condoms. <laughs> CL brought us library is lies buried. Mm-hmm. Listen, y'all getting deep with it. I'm still amazed that Drake was in the club with his ex and his next and his present. <laughs> At the same time. Yeah, that, that was the ooh for me. Like, oh, shit, how you getting out of that? Then he left it, started telling us about a lost Blackberry. <laughs> like, no, no, he was hopeful at that time and was like, nah, if they all with it, I'm with it, Drake. They're not all with it. Not with that Drake. <laughs> when he, views Drake, maybe. Oh, no, they with it now. Oh, shit. And <laughs> it's all in. Listen, he just came out the tunnel. And- Relax. <laughs> Calm down. <sighs> so Anyways, Clarence Avon, with that great said, documentary. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, I thought we were going to oh, get yeah. into the real eyes, eyes tell eyes, real lies. Eyes, older, older people and just their experiences and uh, their travels, what they've learned from being just through the different decades here. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what I was just stuck on after that. After that, uh, Yeah, I watched, I watched the uh, Black Godfather, then I watched the Quincy one right after that again. Just to kind of just just get all of that energy. Holy, yo, shit! I don't think did I watch the Quincy one? Of course I did. Yeah, you had. I had to. I had to. I had to. I had to. Of course I did. Yeah, yeah. That that, that, just those stories and uh, those experiences are priceless. To 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 hear those two sit down and talk about the business and how it started and and what was going on back then Mm. and how it still affects things today. And then when they were talking about all the big wigs and the music business was beefing that point over the Michael Jackson estate and this that and the third. And Clarence Avant was the one in the room that was overseeing all of that shit. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so Disney's sitting here, all of these big fucking companies, and he's the guy that's like, this is how it's going to go. Hmm. I was like, okay, yeah, fire. This is something I need to watch. Oh, yeah, I, I will watch check it. that out. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, no, great document. Uh, yeah, he was ill. Yeah, no. He's, you got to salute him. Got to salute him. 
And I get it though. It, within ten minutes of watching it, you understand why he was so successful and why he was so key in a lot of uh, moments and in, in over the years. Hmm. Because you just get it from his personality. Like I understand it. Like I get it. Hmm. He's just like straight ahead. Like listen, this is what it is. Period. I'm not gonna bullshit you. You ain't gonna bullshit me. Don't you um? Because I picked that up from him too. Mm. And I'm attracted to people like that. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I super enjoy that quality in people. Um, don't you just enjoy when you meet somebody and you feel that? Like, and I'm only asking because you don't. I don't get it. You don't get it a lot. You don't today. get it a lot. No, no, you, don't you don't get, don't get it a lot today. Lot. But no. when you meet somebody and they give you that just feel of authenticity, like fam, I ain't here to bullshit. It's what it is. It is what it is, and that's it, <laughs> it's, my nigga. Let's <laughs> yeah. We ain't got to go yeah. through all that other shit. Yeah, this is what awesome. it is, and that's just the bottom line. Yeah. And yeah. A dude like that, and, and back then especially with that type of mentality and foresight, he had to win. Had I to would win. love to know the secrets that him and Quincy Jones know. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, the yeah, world, Quincy. The world, the world, that's why I watched the Quincy doc right after that. Yeah. The world is not set up for us to know certain things, though. Of course, of course not. It's just not. Yeah. No, and I think, and, and, and honestly, it's certain I mean, things shit, that I don't think we, we don't, should We know. think the earth isn't flat. Yeah, there's certain things that I don't think we should know, honestly. <laughs> so keep certain shit from me. I don't want to know everything. So ignorance is bliss. Absolutely. To some degree, yeah, I totally believe Absolutely. that ignorance is bliss. I don't want to know everything. I think once you, because too much information is dangerous. To me, I think that once you have too much information, it could be crippling. It's dangerous. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look at some of the great leaders that we had. You know what I'm saying? Like, they had so much information that people noticed that and it was like, okay, he's a, he's a threat. That's when you become a threat, when you mm. have too much information. Of course, hmm. and then that's when they get rid of you. And just the masses, and I, I, I can't trust every single person that's in the masses. So if you give the masses a certain bit of information, mm -hmm. everything's fucked. Yeah. So yeah, I think to some degree, ignorance is bliss. Great documentary though. Yeah, yeah which I watched for sure. Get a massive shit because everything will result to public unrest. The public can't handle shit <clears throat> yeah. at all. If yeah. it's a bad storm coming, it's bad. Like you think we're gonna yeah. tell y'all that the fucking aliens tried to rob the White House 30, 30 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> or that they still live in the White House? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah still there. They are the White House? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> still there. Yeah, we're not telling y'all that. There's a storm and, coming. And in you Texas. gotta keep. Yeah. You gotta. Keep, <laughs> you gotta keep people ignorant to a degree so. They will flip out over a storm. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to scare people. And if they know everything, how could they be scared? Yeah, like I came on here and told everybody that it rains every Friday and it hasn't rained since. See? Mm -hmm. That weather machine. Yeah. You did that. I did that. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your weekend. Though. That's why I'm telling you, race, race, <laughs> race, racism is the wrong fight, man. Niggas going to be fighting about whites versus blacks and a fucking tsunami is going to wipe out half of this nation. That's a fact. It's, yeah, the water. It's, it's the elements. Yeah. It's going to be the elements. Oh, Come yeah. be the elements. Oh, yeah. Come be the elements. Nature's always going to win. Fam, I'm a fam, I was pulling in. We were flying in and flying into New Jersey from wherever I was flying into. Raised the window up to just take a peek at the last five minutes of the landing, just staring at the water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just stare at the water in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> How it looked. I, I can't tell you. You shouldn't just, you just, shouldn't just, just get just, there. Just for five minutes, yeah. be in the air. And see the water from the air versus the land. Mm. And then think about that times 20 billion. <laughs> right. And wow, we humans are really just diseases that fuck up anywhere that we land. Yeah. Not all. All. No. Because you, still, you, still, you still go to all. some countries. Every and one of us <laughs> fuck up. Fuck up wherever we are. No, that's not true. It is true. That's, that's my opinion. True. America, maybe. It doesn't have to be true. No, but it is true. It's humans. It's true. Nah. There's a lot of humans. Sorry, that, we're well, fucking parasites, a, a certain, We're not as significant as we think we are. We're there's not. A, there's a, a lot of humans. Yeah, there's a lot of a places on, on, on the planet beyond. where it's, it's still beautiful and the people live off the land. Oh, okay. No, we are not understand what you said. Yeah, lower there's amounts. People that, that, that respect the land and they take care but of no, the land. We're, and, we're a fucking cancer. Oh, America! If you, if you look at definitely a cancer. map and just see where humans are, it's true. It, it looks like a cancer. And if you were America to look at is cancer whatever, for sure. I know. Shit that is. So the fucking stupid humans think, yeah, whites and blacks, hey, nigga, <laughs> y'all don't get no. the fuck out of here. 
Yeah. We're gonna die soon. It's gonna be some whole. Other, it's gonna be a volcano to just start walking through New York one day. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit! All right. Oh, oh they wilding, wilding. <laughs> I said a volcano's gonna walk yeah, through. New York. Hey, 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 guess what, man? <laughs> Fucking Al Sharpton and Trump gonna be running the same way. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna, be, they gonna pick yeah. the same hottest oh, spot I got. Yeah, word. Oh shit, lava. <laughs> <laughs> the shit we was beefing about, man. Yeah, it doesn't really matter so anymore. much yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I'll be dead and gone. I smoke. Uh, <laughs> Where else we have? Fair, I ain't going to be here to see all this bullshit. What the fuck are you talking about? All right, where we at? Uh, all right, fine, since y'all want to do that. I got you. Yeah. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> Yo, Joe, just let it go. That song. <laughs> uh, Mike check, one, two, one, two. Yo. Oh, game a little oh, filter. Verified. Woo, game a little. Killing it. Woo. I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to do anything. A little filter on that. Wow. Oh, hold up, y'all. Put it doing water, Joe. Oh, I made a little flanger on him. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that's your thing. <laughs> Everyone knows when flangers on Ooh. it. Oh, verified must be on the set. That's how shit hey. sound when you get water in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, when the Joe Button Pod take out standing underwater. <laughs> hold your breath. All right. <laughs> See, it was Rory, a tagline. We're trying to pull up from forty. <laughs> it's a tagline. Hold your breath. Uh, is there anything else important that we need to get to? Because trust me, when this shit is over, I got oh, a whole uh, vacation well, no. ahead Let's, of me. Well, between outstanding, I think we should touch uh, Bushwick Bill and one hundred percent, one hundred, one hundred percent. Let's do it. Just get some ghetto boys playing. 100 Oh god damn it Okay Don't tell me you don't got no ghetto boys I was gonna say oh, Don't Serato You be banned He's looking oh. Yeah he doesn't <laughs> yeah, He doesn't This is sick Alright I'll try it a different way buddy God damn it Hey Ice We really gotta put was, you on To ghetto <laughs> no, boys I was just about to get my laptop going We really gotta teach Ice About ghetto boys One of these days Hey I gotta let this rock for I'm sorry I'll give you my hip hop libraries. Oh. You, you might need the, the let's, parks. Let's go, boost. Willie. <laughs> Niggas had Willie fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rewind this, man, because this verse this verse goes totally different if you really knew what Willie was about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like if Willie is saying he can't sleep at night and he tossing and turning. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh. See, every time my eyes close, I start sweating. Some of y'all know nothing about this type of pain, and that's why I just we hip hop will always just hit y'all different from me. I've I've closed my eyes and my nose has bled. <laughs> <coughs> just started bleeding. One thousand percent. Never happened to you. Stress. You ever blow your nose and the booger come out with a little red? And they, oh, yeah. fuck. God. Yes, yesterday. <laughs> yeah, that shit ain't, you know what I mean? That shit ain't sweet. Oh. You ain't never been followed? <laughs> yes. Honestly. Followed. Honestly yes. I'm asking you. Yes. You ever been tailed? Ever been on your way home and seen something in the rear view? Like, mm hmm. It, it hits you different <laughs> Yeah well, When you driving And a nigga pull up behind you With the bike rack on his uh, car You think it's the cops You ever got boxed in <laughs> Y'all wanna start having Real conversations On this podcast <laughs> You ever got boxed in it's Yeah funny. <laughs> Somebody say Take a t Hey Oh that's, oh, oh my god God, you know when a nigga mean it. <laughs> you can tell when it's rapping and it's for real. Hey, yeah. many men, you can't fake it. <laughs> no, no, that's a fact. Not at all. Can't fake many men. Hey, that that beautiful melody. Don't, 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 don't let it fool men. you. Don't let it fool you. Wish that for pun upon me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they not feeling me. <laughs> Hey, when the writers get to writing upon me from Queens, <laughs> uh, blood in my oh man, they were trying to bust these niggas' heads open, man. Salute to salute to all these niggas. Yeah, I posted some pictures over over the weekend of my motherfucking uh Joe Budden album anniversary, and somebody got to talking slick about Nitty in the comments. So I was like, uh, <laughs> wish, wish I could tell you. 
<laughs> Wish I could tell you that's, that's a mistake. Yeah, we can leave, just leave that one alone. Niggas don't give a fuck, man. These kids, yeah, they crazy. will talk about some cold blooded niggas. <laughs> no oh, respect. Nitty ain't the one. Oh, did y'all see the clip? Did y'all see the clip of uh, Zab Zab pulling up on Homeboy? Whoever uh, yeah. that is, I thought that was great. That yeah. was that awesome, should be a real man. TV show. I, yeah. Why is it not? Why? Yeah. Why do I know they're not trying to produce that? Prince was Zab too. He was in the hospital after his last fight. Yeah, yeah. So I know he yeah, had some sure. bleeding on the brain. I think they said. So prayers to him. Man. I was shocked that Zab was still even fighting overseas at forty-one like that. I just yeah. seen Zab recently. Yeah. I always get excited when I see niggas that I that like are from that era of clubbing, like mm-hmm. the 03 era of being out. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, like, oh, you still alive? We still, you know I mean? <laughs> yeah. honestly, <laughs> no, I, yeah. you know, yeah. a lot of niggas yeah. died. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, sighting see Zab, uh, but to see him still fighting, yeah, man. Uh, prayers to Zab. Hope he's doing well. Uh, from, hope, from what I last heard, he's he's doing better. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, and listen, don't get it fucked up. When professional fighters get fucked up, don't think that your man in the local bodega can take them still. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> yeah Dumb as shit. Let, right. me, uh, <laughs> let me be the one to inform you that, nah, you got to have a fight on your hands. Hey, you heard what Zab said. Hey, I need five outside. That tell you something is off. Yo, you know how long five you, minutes You is? in the streets, yeah, fam. Right. We ready for the 90-second square off. <laughs> we not ready for a nigga with stamina to stand outside of our job and say, hey, give me five fam. minutes. That's like three o'clock high back in the day. Ninety seconds. <laughs> three o'clock, you saw, you saw, buddy. You saw his face. You though, right? and me outside. You saw a dude face though. <laughs> he was kind of like, I, know, I said, I, nah, I, loved, I was just talking. Yeah, yeah I bet you was. Yeah, no, I loved every no. moment of that. Yeah. Word. I bet you was. I bet you were just talking. Uh, what Bushwick, else? Bushwick Bill, man. We gotta, we gotta do more. Oh yeah, back proper. to Bushwick Bill, man. Well, quickly, I wanted to ask, how many rappers do you think ever jab like Zab in their oh, verses? Zab, Zab was a punchline <laughs> for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his yeah. name rhymes so cool. Yeah, and it rhymed <laughs> with on. jab. Yeah. yeah, when your rhymes jab like zab. Yeah, mm. listen, Judah, <laughs> and he was from Brooklyn, so all of the cool Brooklyn rappers were. And he was, fucked with Zab. And he was yeah. in the streets like every night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like you like, bump into him, have a cool conversation, and I'm like I'm gonna put that nigga in one of my rhymes tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he jabs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Many a night you spotted that yellow Lamborghini just somewhere around. <laughs> Oh, Zab out again. All right. <laughs> All right. Three nights in a row. <laughs> What'd you say? Three nights in a row. <laughs> yeah. Zab Carr I knew, and I know I say this a lot, but I knew that I knew Jerome James Carr. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome James one of the I know y'all. Ever, I know man. y'all. I know y'all laughing. No, I Jerome, knew that car. Dude, trust me, Jerome. I know. Listen, all right, Jerome James one of the biggest things. That's ever, all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I couldn't figure it out for years, but now I understand. I get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, Bushwick Bill. Bushwick, Bushwick Bill. Bushwick Bill. Uh, pancreatic cancer Yes Pancreatic yeah. cancer There was an early report That came out And I really dislike When this happens the Early report came out Said he was no longer With us The family tweeted He is with us uh, Keep fighting uh, And then uh, I think that was The next day Yeah, yeah. He Official had, word he had came passed out. So uh, Yeah Oh man I really wanted to see them On that last tour But his, his sickness Took over Yeah I forgot where we were That they were playing Houston maybe Oh yeah, we, no, they, uh, they, were, they were somewhere DC. we were. Yeah, DC. Supposed to be DC. Oh shit, that's canceled. right. Yeah, they canceled yeah. the DC the night we got there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. want to go see that. Yeah, that was one. That of the, it was. Yeah. It was that kind of hit home for me because the Ghetto Boys that single was one. I think one of the first tapes I ever purchased. For real? Yeah. yeah. Where? I remember I used to have to sneak and listen to my mom's. Scarface and produced that too, by the way. Underrated genius. But this is about Bushwick, so. Yeah, that's one of the first tapes I purchased. Ghetto Boys. No, I just think Ghetto Boys is one of those groups that just and I hate. To be the they don't get their just do type shit, but yeah. I don't think gangster rap is anywhere remotely where it should be without the Ghetto Boys starting a lot of that. They shit. They are one of the most important groups in hip hop yeah. history, and Scarface is one of the most important voices in hip hop history. Run, running for uh, council in Houston. Yeah, mm. yeah. Let's go, man! Round of applause for fucking face, man. <laughs> Number eleven on my all time list. Oh, I have him in my top ten. Yeah, he might be in my top ten. Face is a, Oh that's not true That's not true Face was 12 Ice Cube was 11 Okay Yeah Bushwick man That's sad man What a legendary album cover That was From that, that song you know, the day I think the day He did get his eye shot out <laughs> On the fucking Hospital bed And they made that The album cover That's mm-hmm. hard as shit ever. <laughs> Yeah Yeah I was yeah. gangster You ain't gonna get Too much harder than that yeah, nah. that's fun, funny. You had to out hard each other back then. You had them doing that. Ice T was wilding. Yeah. Fucking NWA is wilding. Yeah. Like, 
<laughs> Imagine. I'm glad I missed that era where, where you had to out hard someone. Yeah. Word. Oh man, I was, I was I was losing. I was losing that yeah, one. Yeah, you you came in on the right on the end of that. You yeah, like five, yeah. Five six years after Things that. With, yeah, that was some bullshit. <laughs> well, no, by by when Joe came, it, there was like money involved. Right. Before then, there was no money. Yeah. Word. So it was just people. Being violent, like niggas yeah. will kill you. Like I'll kill you right here like, at the show. Yo, there wasn't what? a time where you couldn't fuck up the money at that time because right. there was no money to fuck up. Right. Actually, nah, I take it back. I take it back. Now that we having this conversation and I'm really getting into it, and I hate talking about my career on this podcast because that's not what it's for. I think I, I think I was the change. I, I went against all of the hard niggas. You was one of the yeah. Oh, everybody, everybody was hard still coming in the 2000s. It yeah. was still X. Yeah. It was still Ja. Beans. It was still Beans Ghost. Was heavy, then. Beans. It was yeah. still Beans. It was still all of that. I think the only fun nigga, fun niggas was Missy and Ludacris. Uh, yeah. N- Nelly was fun. Nelly yeah. was fun. Nelly was yeah. fun then. But everybody was still trying to kind of be f- hard. F- Fifty kept that going. And then the, and then the ringtones. I th- yeah. Fifty. He yeah. Kept he, it, kept he, kept he kept the hardest. He was the hardest. Yeah. Once he came, he was the hardest. And that yeah, G unit. But then the ringtones came. And then it was like, ah, right, we don't want to do this hard shit no more, nigga. I want some cool shit for my phone rings. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. before they had a hold of streaming. I'm telling you, this music business is wicked. Yeah, it really is. It is wicked. Yeah. It, it, oh, gee, man, what's next? <laughs> what's next? They ain't pay us for video games. They ain't pay us for ringtones. They won't pay us for streams. They wouldn't pay us for CDs. I wasn't Word. alive during 8 Dash, but I can imagine. I remember the Elvis war stories, <laughs> the Temptations war stories. Yeah. The, like, fam, when the fuck do we get ours? Or start a podcast. Come on, Vivendi. <laughs> <laughs> Will yet. <laughs> well, rest in peace, Bushwick Bill. That's, for that's sure. Rest in peace. Prayers and condolences to his family. Bushwick Bill. Yeah. No, no prayers has, and no condolences kids, so to, prayers to, to uh, his fans, family, friends, loved ones, children, just Everyone, everyone, everyone. Yeah. Uh, Bushwick Ghetto Boys changed my life for the greater. Changed my life for the greater, and I'm forever in debt. See, I don't think it's enough of that. I don't think it's enough of rappers today really expressing gratitude towards some of the predecessors. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'd like to be the beacon of light to start that or to be a part of that. Uh, so, yeah, rest in peace. Uh, yeah. We played outstanding twice already, so we're not going to do that. And <laughs> and me, I'm on when people pass. I want to celebrate their life and not sulk in the depression of it. When people pass on, it's them in a better place. It's us down here that are left to mourn. So, yeah. uh, where are we at next? Um, a, 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 about two or three women. Two or three women DM me, and I don't know. I guess maybe because oh, that's Father's that's Day. Something light for you. Well, no, that's, had, some, that's on had, a regular Wednesday. No, was, I mean, they were looking for help. You at, you at eight, bro? No, yeah, it, word. I'm surprised it was just three. No, the love, I can still feel like, the love. Yo, I read that, read that review. Uh, <laughs> When's the next leg day? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, so a couple women had DM me asking me. I'm, I'm thinking it's because Father's Squat! Day is coming. It's, <laughs> Drop. It's coming around the corner. Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> But they Whoa. they asked they, that's, that's the nastiest double entendre. <laughs> Open up shop. That's how Molly Morrow. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't squatted. I haven't squatted a drop. My dogs go. I haven't squatted a drop. My dogs go. I've no, I haven't done any of that. Job. Forget it. Dude. But they would like to know All right, if you ain't what are some uh what are some good gifts some for women to buy men. Because they, they, I guess women are confused. Like, they don't know uh, what about the worst gifts in the world. Silence. Save so your they, money. So they hit Save me looking money. for it. Is that me? Oh, yeah. Save your fucking Mr. money. Mr. Fucking Popular. Well, that's today. what it is. They hit me looking for help. They want to know. Yes, women are some of the worst gift givers of all time. Absolute fucking be, worst. Yeah. My girl's pretty good, thank, thank, thank God. Yeah, so they, they, they want to know what are some good gifts for women to buy men. When she asked, when they asked me, I was kind of confused. I'm like, I don't even know how to re- respond to that. I mean, it's, anytime it's some tough. girlfriend shit come up, parks just get right out the smoke. I yeah. mean, I mean, I love the gifts that I have received well, no, she gives from me my good girlfriend. Gifts. I mean, please don't take that. They may nobody ask you that. <laughs> well, parks, parks is get pretty in trouble for once. He's, he's pretty simple though. He's pretty yeah, simple. I am simple. He's simple. Yeah. It's it's tough when peace and quiet yeah. is number one on your list for as a gift. As a gift, you just right. want like so. It's hard for oh, me you're not to getting that. Yeah, so it's hard for me to tell a woman like what to get me that. Is an object like I would just 
like it to be quiet for a change. Man, Sin, <laughs> Sin, Sin used to buy me everything I had already. Oh, here's a new to me. The old one look beat up. Hey, <laughs> observational are you? <laughs> hey, got your new new Louis Duffel. Now you got two. I think you can never go wrong with the basic shit. Cologne, a good cologne. And I say drawers. Underwear. Always what? drawers, socks, drawers? Socks, socks, tank tops, cologne, any of that well, shit. Well, a, a real dude will appreciate. Here, here's yeah. a here's a concept, uh, women out there. Why don't you fucking ask the guy you're talking to? What he would like. I know or, it's a weird concept to y'all. pay attention to shit that he'd be saying. Like. I know this sounds really foreign what I'm saying right now, but maybe you should just ask the gentleman in front of you what the fuck his yeah, interests are and pay, what yeah. he would want in life. I yeah. think girls get intimidated because they think that we're like very specific about the things that we want, and we probably are. We are. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So like, they don't want to buy us something like... For me, I'm like a techie guy. They don't want to get the wrong techie thing. You know the what funny I mean? shit about that is I know what I want, but when I was reading those questions, I didn't know how to answer it. Yeah. I never like, know. It was the weirdest shit. I'm like, I know what I, I, always, I like. I, I know the things nothing. that I like. But when a, a, a woman asked me, like, yeah, what are some gifts? I didn't even know how to respond to that. I'm like, damn. Like, mm-hmm. I know what I like. I don't know what every guy likes. I like, I like a Rolex. What up? <laughs> Ain't mad at that. Sin so made sure to break up before that uh, uh, engagement watch came. <laughs> <laughs> Then they yeah, say that's the wrong thing. Like, guys supposed to get a watch at some point? Well, no, I made that beef when I came on here in February. That, like, all right, did all that. What, what the fuck do I, I get? Know, I'm shoving the Audemars web, <laughs> website in the face. You get a lifetime of uh, love and support. Oh, oh okay. affection. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, y'all yeah, missing don't, it. Don't discuss the oh, affection. My yeah, my yeah. Fault. Affection. Yeah. TLC. Yeah. No, I already got all the guys. Got it. <laughs> got it. Except for that one. Doing a great job, bro. Except for that one that they, <laughs> except for the one that they promised us off the GoFundMe. <laughs> we never got. Nah, that it's one. in production. Uh, that's yeah, true. That's all. No, that's true. Yeah, Come on, don't you know it's it. in production. Yeah, yeah. Duh, silly of me. Yeah, yeah, so ladies, I don't, I don't know. I mean, the basic shit, some good Y'all underwear. Y'all see, I'm on crept in here with a segment for the ladies from <laughs> from, the ladies. from him only. Hey, man, but we have a female hand. audience. Hey, Look, hey, they y'all. cursed us out on the road because they said we don't we don't address the female audience <laughs> y'all, enough. Y'all they, cu- they, they cursed us out. No, nah, I just, I'm just so I'm just I, listen. Hey, they want to know what gifts to buy men. I'm trying to. Well, help. I would say this. Why, well, ask, they didn't ask, hit the Joe Button Pod DM and ask. Yeah, oh no, ask your Savon. Savon got all the gifts. He like yo, I like you know. I need that new. He answering like he us. Now this mall. No, it's not. I've, I've never been in the Joe Button Pod DMs. So you gonna see you gonna see Savon with Mad Griselda gear. Yeah, one like nah, this mall. Hey, yo, this mall. I yeah. need that new West Side hoodie. This thing is crazy, man. I need it in a medium. I don't think you're a medium mall. Nah, that's what I'm wearing now. I think I think girls should uh, ask and listen to their man's best friends. Because okay. that's something that I've had happen before, where like they ask my best friend what they should get me, and mm-hmm. they just kind of ignore the advice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had that happen before where your girl asked your best friend and then they get in a relationship. <laughs> Yo, he said that you should be with me. <laughs> That's the <laughs> biggest gift. <laughs> he said you will be happier with me. And that we should I'll, stop yeah, standing you know your in man. the way of destiny. You know he's destiny. crazy. Yeah. We should stop standing in the way of destiny. I'm only laughing because how, how white people... Think and this how black people think. Like I, I'm, I'm with Parks. Like that makes all the sense in the world. Why you can't just ask the best friend and get a good gauge? You, Amani, all of our friends. Like when you bring the girl over, even Johnny White ass. Like you give her a speech about how to not talk to all of the friends. Of course. And how stupid. Yeah, Rory does it too. Yeah. Like Sam just started warming up to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> niggas, say, yeah. niggas, yeah, first keep, t- niggas keep their girl from talking to people. No, you can keep your girl from talking to the homies. Well, no, if you really like her, yeah. Like, there's a. But difference. I see niggas, niggas tell chicks that they just met. And actually, don't talk to the homies. Actually, oh no, that's that's weird. No, we that's, just that, met her weird. together. No, yeah, no, no. That's, that's weird. That's if weird. you bring in the non means over to the crib, no, All right, have a me, blast. Let me turn this up a little more. Just oh we, shit, just because we're about to go on vacation. No, this is a very safe, rated PG question. It's just a loaded question. Um. Uh, well, you don't have a relationship. Do you leave? Do you? But if you did. You leave your girl in the house alone with your friend. Yeah. How yeah. how many yeah. friends fall on that list? Not many. Not many if it's my yeah. friend, tell like me. my real friend, yeah. Tell me. Tell me. Tell how me. many friends do I have that I would leave my girl in the house with? Yes. How uh, long are you talking about leaving them in the oh, house here for? Here we go. Well, no, that's a very that's a important are we question. Using, are we using the, you, the word? Are we using the word friend for real? Yeah, like a, your real friend. All, all of my real yeah. friends. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. My real niggas? Yeah. Can I have a number of what that is off the top I could think of at least five of my niggas that I would leave my girlfriend around 
with no, and I know nothing is happening. I didn't say leave your girlfriend around. You said leave my girl in the house with my friend. That's what you said, right? Yes, there. not yeah. leave around. No, leave, leave her in the in house. In a house, in your house, yeah. with your partner, yeah. alone, mm-hmm. you gone. And you at have, least five. You have five friends that yeah. way. Parks, your number is what? Uh, Somewhere in the five to ten range, but answer me this is how long. Y'all Because that's important. Are you talking about overnight? Like, I got well, five all, niggas I, that I could leave... I can leave my girl in the house for can, can I as ask? long as I want, <laughs> and that's why. So, and that's why I fuck with Savon. Yeah, I got Savon five for sure. Gives me the re- I got the five real. niggas for sure. No, I'm giving you the real. Of, that that I know. Are you saying from your friend's perspective or your girl's perspective? Like, first of all, you need new friends if you're yeah, saying that, and that's, two, that's you need true. a new girl that's, if that's your that's way. Like, what that, you talking that, about? That's not true at all. I totally disagree with that. What? I totally disagree with you need new friends and a new girl because someone does not have five people that they would leave alone in their home with their partner. That's not true, and it's ignorant to first say. First of all, I'm going to I know, I'm not I leaving know a lot friends. of people that's in why my I can home, say that. number one. <laughs> Like I'm not It's not a lot of niggas That I'm gonna leave in my home Number that's one That's a fact <laughs> Number two I trust my girl around If that's my girl I trust her around any nigga I don't give a fuck who it is and, all right. That's the point I'm getting at more I'm just talking about In my I house can't take alone it from though all Because he don't trust the girl To even be his girl So now let me <laughs> so, let me, so now let me get to y'all No that's not That's not so what I, it is I can't take that from him That's not so what it is So now y'all Give me something So He said five You say I five I said five too. to ten I would try Five to right. ten to, to, Well tomorrow's point Let me address that first Yo, <laughs> yo, can we do a podcast with a live studio audience? Just because I don't even know this nigga. He's funny. <laughs> he over there Mom, dying or something. <laughs> what up, Rory? Uh, to Maul's point, and- I would leave my girl around any guy hypothetically in that degree. But I'm not leaving my girl around any guy for her benefit. Why the fuck would I put some strange man around my girl? Just what do you mean with? I would leave my girl around anybody hypothetically in that degree? That what do you mean? It would never be me worried about anything that would happen between those two people Knowing her, yeah, I'm just not putting her next to a strange man just because I wouldn't put anyone near strange men to begin with, yeah, because men are fucking nuts and disgusting, right? But That's why I said in I my house alone. No. <laughs> they to, both to said a new five, question. five to ten. Five. To ten. five. Uh, I didn't get a number from you. I got I got seven to ten. <laughs> Yeah, easy. God, I have a lot of very damn. good friends who are not dirtbags. Yeah, <laughs> and my girls and are I don't have bags. a big circle. Yeah, yeah you got to trust. It's all about your girl at the end of the day. You got to trust your girl. That's a lot more than that. No, it's, it's not. a lot more than that. In every instance that y'all just named, I could trust my girl one hundred percent. I have to trust somebody else one hundred percent too. Well, that's what we're saying. Said, like you're not going to leave your girl around some yeah. strange nigga. You don't. I just know. wouldn't do that. Period. Yeah, how many, how, and it wouldn't be because right, of her. So it wouldn't be because of him. Because I don't just trust well, nasty but, fucking men. But that. All right. But that's my question. It didn't really speak to who don't you trust. Hey, my girl, I wouldn't leave. Well, no, you my there. friends. It speaks to my friends. Don't there do is a plethora of things that could potentially go wrong that have nothing to do with your girl violating your bond or your friend violating your bond. But the individual bonds without the without the mutual party being present, this man shit that this man shit that could happen. I just wouldn't. I, I I can't think of five people of the opposite sex that I'm leaving alone in my house. Period. Number one. Right. <laughs> well, that's to begin with. Yeah, just leaving people in your house. All right. How many people do y'all have that y'all have that 100% trust for? I guess that's a new question. Um, I would say 100% trust? Ah. That is the trust that y'all just alluded to at, having. At least, <laughs> at least uh, eight that I can think of quickly off the top of my head, but probably possibly more. Yeah, yeah it's a few for me. I got, yeah. I got, I'm staying on my trust. seven to ten. Of, of people that yeah. I trust 100%. And Absolutely. my last question to you gentlemen is, and this will vary because we're different ages, of course, but uh, partially what, 33? 35. 35. How many people from your childhood do you still keep communicate with all of you? I would say uh, of that a few. Of that number that I named, at least six of the eight yeah. were long time. I've been friends uh, with them since at least high school. If not before three, three I talk to Damn near every single day um, Maybe six above that But three I talk to Every single day You know what's funny And we'll never do this here But one day We'll try to take this podcast To the next level <laughs> What do you think Your girl's answer To that question is Rory and Parks I can't ask you Of how many of her friends No Your friends Oh, oh. That, How um, many of your friends Would she <sighs> Feel comfortable with in your house 
alone without you for hours. But reverse it. Don't so, give me a butt. Just give me a number. Well, think about all right. it. Well, I want to give you an example to that though, because Sam is the Sam is awesome. Is the pal- Palooza chick? She's the one that's in the mix all the time with us. With our group of friends, Sam is always there with just her, like. So I still keep that. I, she would say the exact same thing because it's a family. Like we've all been around each other for damn near eight years. To it feels I challenge like. that, and you know Sam much better than me. Of course, I do not think Sam would say seven people. Okay, men, not the girls. Well, Ra- Raven's think- the only girl in the mix besides her. So, Parks. It would probably be lower, but um, I think it would still be somewhere around that same number. Got it. Yeah. All right. What else we got? Where we at? <laughs> I'll fuck one of you niggas up there. Just, <laughs> like, I'm just going to put that out there. Like, I'll pop on one of you niggas. Like, let's just be clear. You like, see, <laughs> see I'm, I, this is one of those times clear. where I'll I'm, I'm capping niggas. the conversation. But I can name a million instances where niggas have gone behind to do some other shit to try to fuck shorty and try to do shorty. Oh, yeah. Niggas, niggas, I mean. niggas going to be so, niggas. So why you say I'll, but I'll I, fuck a nigga up? No, like, I'm just putting that in the universe to let niggas know oh, I'll okay. fuck one of you niggas up. Like, but I got my homies that I know without a doubt would never try no shit with my girl. If you would have asked me that five years Wait, ago when I had a lot actually, more random people around actually, me, mm-hmm. I would say my number would be different. I'm going to ask y'all now. No, if, now y'all got me going. We're going to leave vacation. Good. So now y'all, none of y'all have ever been with a chick that you were intimate with or were attempting to be intimate with and then somebody you know beat later. Oh, yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we have more all, than once. So, uh, yeah. so we've all seen a, that movie play yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. not such a foreign movie. I'm talking about way more than we've seen the other way. I'm talking about while she's. I'm talking about while she's. I mean, no, no, no. Because it was, it was while she's <laughs> my Joe, Joe, you asked me about the while girl she's that, with I, me. No, that no, I asked to marry. Yeah, you're talking about your fiance, but I'm over here with more. No, yeah, no. I'm talking about when she's with me and my girl. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, she would Don't make me sound like that. While she's with me. Now, once we break up, then that's something, you know, she can do whatever she wants. But I'm talking about why she's my girl. Like, my niggas that I fuck with, they would never do that. They would never try that while she's with me. So you wouldn't care if while, while she wasn't with you, they tried it? If she's not no, with, I wouldn't it, care. It, I wouldn't give a fuck at if that she was, point. To what degree I'm was cool. I with her? All right. Uh, I don't care. New, what's the stream? <laughs> what, no, what I'm just saying, I don't care. What do you think the stream I, is worth? I don't my, know. My thing is, I don't, I don't care y'all, if... Uh, y'all niggas are nutty. How? I think that y'all say nutty shit because how? millions of people listen to us. No, <laughs> what's exactly the what I would say at any time. I would say that. I'm going to say that if we were sitting... Michael. Yo, yeah. if there was some shit that I was fucking with... Y'all are on here lying. That is a lie. You think I would be mad that if a girl... I can't pinpoint the emotion. Okay, so you think that I would be upset if a girl that I'm no longer with don't say fucks upset. a nigga I know don't, don't say upset I don't know what the emotion is that you would so be. what are you so I, what, what, what are you saying, saying is, we're nutty you're I'm calling saying, me nutty because I'm telling you that look, I wouldn't be because you're telling me there wouldn't be emotion and I'm saying how is that possible as a human you love somebody it ain't just the action you of just we, added love into it he, no you which are you don't love her you just I've with been somebody? with I've been with a uh, plenty of people that I don't love all right well I'm talk, I'm talking about I'm having an emotion based conversation all right well I'm be not more specific because you just said with a chick why keep up you 29 I'm talking about the context I'm not talking about the bitch you don't Being care with I, somebody I, doesn't the, mean the love chick them. you don't care about I'm not asking if you would care about the next man hitting we talking about you caring about a chick I, keep up with me I can care you with care somebody about, and I love them great we don't need to do that you care about a chick <laughs> Awesome. Y'all split now. Mm-hmm. You don't give a fuck who beats. Your man beats. Lie to my face. Like, what are y'all talking about? But, but nigga, so but, that's, that but that happens all the time, Joe. I, I know. And I'm saying, all, I'm only addressing how you feel when it happens. Oh, no, I wouldn't. To me personally, y'all know me. I don't give a fuck. Like, you, once I'm not with you, you can do what the fuck you want to do. Live life. I don't care. We didn't work out. We had a chapter. We had a moment. We had memories together. It didn't last. And now Live your life. man can beat? If that's, who, if that's who she's happy with and they find love enough, I can't stand it because me and you don't know. That's thing. Right. How, how long, just how so long much goes... To this. I didn't say they could fall in love. <laughs> he could beat real quick. Yeah, they can fall more, in love. More make, more make me feel bad now. <laughs> no. All right. They, All right. Yeah, they can fall in love. They can fall I mean, in love. Shit. My nigga, I'm listen. Listen, my nigga. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> y'all fuck, nigga, Because y'all niggas got to understand. I'm not a selfish nigga. Like, I'm not a selfish person. So if me and a girl don't work out, we was in love, we had all these these, these years in, whatever, and the shit goes bad, we, we break up, we're not happy, we're no longer happy, we just, life is short. Do whatever makes you happy. If you feel like my nigga that's been around for years and you fall in love with him and y'all have a thing now, you think that I'm going to stop being friends with him 
because y'all together okay. now? Like, well, you know that? Now, like, now, now I disagree if you're changing well, yeah, it to that thing. Weird. If you're talking about you was with her for years and he was around for years and then they're together, now I'm looking at everyone fucking weird. No, now, if it's something like right <laughs> after me, then that's weird. But if they get together four, th- four years after we broke up. I still would find that weird. Nah, I don't give a f- Come on. I, I, sure, I agree man. with you, I don't but I don't want to hang out with them. I would find it weird. I didn't say how I'd react. I just said I would find it weird. I don't want to be weird. Like, niggas call me and ask me, could they date a chick that I had. I slept with And I'm like nigga Why are you calling me Asking me that well, sir, I ain't call I just like, went for it I don't give a fuck nigga Like nigga no, well, I would I never just, call I you just, I just went in I'm just, No but I'm just saying but I don't Maul even understand that something Cause more chicks be like Ha ha get off my phone <laughs> I'm like damn That's four of them That said that It's like a default what you, response What you talking about <laughs> That's more typing. Yeah. I, can't, I can't fuck with this. Maybe we got to bag more ball bitches is unbagable. Nah, man. Sometimes that is, that is I, I hit the DM joking. Yo, fuck that nigga. What's good? <laughs> they be like, ha ha, Joe. I'm like, what you mean, ha ha, bitch? I'm serious. <laughs> Listen, I need man. y'all to play games with mall chicks. This they are crazy, loyal man. to this nigga, this man. Nigga, you saw, you know, squat shit. I don't, work. I don't have no chicks. I'm just putting you know where they went with him. Man, <laughs> yeah, they, and they know I ain't giving it up like that. They know I ain't squatting over stupid, nothing. Man. Y'all are stupid. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, but nah, you can't. Life is short, man. Be with who you want to be with, man. Fuck that. I agree, more. I agree, more. Way to close us out, man. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you do good on the closer. The closer. Out. I mean, the closer in more ways than one. He stole that. He stole that from Ray J. Love whoever you want to love, be whoever you want to be. But mm. it's great. Ray J said that. Another guy that more looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so many, so many guys, man. Uh, Father's Day is coming. Hey, we we yes. we got. In the famous words of my dad, we lead with Mother's Day to get that one out of the way early <laughs> in preparation for the one that matters, which is Father's Day. Man, do I have a ton to unpack here. <laughs> but we won't. Uh, I want to say a happy, happy early Father's Day to all the yes, fathers out there. Absolutely. Uh, salute to y'all. Single dads, dads holding it down, dads still with the mom. Like, how are you doing it? As long as you're doing it, man. Salute, salute to all the dads out there. Uh, sure. Fuck all the sure. dads who ain't. Oh, yeah, 100%. 100%. But you know what? What I will say is that while that was the, the thing when I was growing up, like all the dads not being there, it seemed like it's a lot of good dads out there. Like, you can see them. They're tangible. Yeah, good dads today. don't get enough credit. That's a good they trend. Really, and, and, you know, because good dads don't get credit because you're doing what you should be doing. Mm-hmm. But good dads should get credit. They should, man. Let me get a round of applause for the good dads, man. Fuck that. Yeah, shout out to my man, Vern. He's one of the real, real good dads I know. He got all girls, and he's done a great job raising his daughters. No, man. Vern is an amazing dad. It's yeah. the person he is that I'm trying to work on. <laughs> but, I mean, his fathering nah, Vern, skills. Vern is a good nigga, I man. That's my, that's my guy, man. Shout out to Vern, that's my man. guy, too. What that one. mean? No, no, no. Vern was at Palooza. He's, he's at, Vern is he's actually he Vern a lot. was at Palooza. Yes, see, I didn't yeah. even see Vern. Fuck you, Vern. Oh, because Vern was with Maul buying bottles. I wouldn't be down there. Uh, <laughs> We're not buying bottles. Yo, when you get with your Bronx niggas, you don't really fuck with me. I, we, I, I <laughs> fucked with you the whole day, but you wanted to stand at the top all day. Uh, yeah, fair I didn't want to do that. Right. He had to make sure Gotham was safe. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Gotham was safe. No, y'all know I really wish I wasn't famous. Don't do that. Y'all know I wish I could be in the mix with the people. Well, we found a nice y'all little Y'all know cut. I'm only we a, chill, a, 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 a nice slave to this little bit of fame that I have. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you was around people that could fight. You would have been fine. Yeah, good night. Had a great time. Yeah, but but yeah shout to the. If shout you have to, to use your fighting abilities, it was a bad night. <laughs> like, yeah, that's true. If, if somebody has to learn that I could fight tonight, like, come on, man. Especially we, in Palooza, well, I, when people I don't be doing nothing. Then yeah. I failed. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop right there. That's the image that you and your little nerdy friends like to paint of Palooza. I got a whole different perspective of Palooza from looking up top. That whole corner by that row where you had to get out by the food wasn't the safest corner. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I didn't say it was. There was places that weren't unsafe. Uh, Just nothing happens. Yeah. You can feel nervous over there. That's not. That's not my fault. Yeah, the energy is a little different in certain areas. I seen some niggas from. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, it was a few in there. Yeah, but they chillin'. I always know because they, they be like, "Tell them nitty front, hey, <laughs> <laughs> hey, family." Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's, that's the one hit, that you. Hit that's the when you hit him with that. Nah, yeah. family, him, fan of me. Yeah. No, I think I remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I stayed away from that corner. I was starving too. <laughs> um, all right, what else is there to talk about? The Uber helicopter. Some helicopter flew into. We talking about some New York Uber, uh, helicopter it. flew into. And let me not even joke about this because the poor pilot did lose his life. So rest in peace. Uh, but a pilot flew into. To a building in New York 
uh, after dropping somebody off uh, near on the west side, on the, 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 west, side, on the yeah. west side highway at the heliport. Eleven minutes later, uh, the helicopter crashed into a building, debris everywhere at the top. He was trying to make an emergency landing, and unfortunately, he did not survive. Uh, it was critical, and they're trying to figure out uh, why nobody had the air air signal or the. Whatever well, they, they call were saying, that. they were saying because he didn't have permission to be up there. Nobody knew he was going to be up there. The airport didn't know. How did he get up there? Why was he yeah. up there? Is what they were well, saying. But they were saying that he flew over a restricted area because you can't fly without getting uh, clearance. You can't fly over the Trump Towers anymore in New York. So, and the Empire State. Well, yeah, any 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 Both, yeah. deemed landmark. So he he flew over that. But if you you know y'all yesterday was foggy, like it was terrible. Well, yeah. that was the other day. thing they were yeah. saying. Uh, his his sight. They were saying uh, while the normal sight, he should have been able to see at least 10 miles ahead of him yeah. uh, because of the fog. It had to only be a half of mile that yeah. he could have seen. So there's a chance that he might not have even seen that building. Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. It's fucked up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, that was not an Uber helicopter, I do not think. No, it was not no, an no, Uber helicopter. Not. But, I mean, same shit. Uber don't need to be flying nothing nowhere. Y'all can't drive. <laughs> <laughs> Learn to drive, and then we'll discuss this. <laughs> and then, and then yeah. we'll discuss you taking me into the air. Yeah, yeah <laughs> word. No, nah, I'm not doing that. Um, what else? Big Poppy David Ortiz was shot in Dominican Republic. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was in the club chilling, doing his thug fizzle. Uh, some assailant came up to him, shot him two times in the back, went straight through. Uh, didn't hit anything, but it did have. Uh, he did have kidney damage. He had liver damage. But it didn't hit a muscle. It went straight through, in and out. It wasn't stuck no inside. No vital organs. Yeah, no vital organs. Well, so that's good. Uh, he survived. Um, the rumor is that he was fucking somebody's wife and a hitman sent homeboy over there. I won't get into any of that because it's none of my business. Uh, what was intriguing to me was... I read there was cops. And this was uh, even more juicy. Look at Rory. Rory always has the tea. <laughs> um, I heard that too. Right? What was more important, you don't ever have the tea. Don't try to piggyback off Rory's tea. Um... <laughs> What was more interesting to me, and this was one of the reasons that I canceled my DR trip, not even in fear of something happening, but in the event that you get sick, uh, in the event that you get ill or have a health issue, uh, I don't think those hospitals are the best equipped to deal with. Well, DR is a very poor country, so, I mean, you're not going to get, you know, the so best they, so hospital they, facilities. It, well, and, it, exactly. So, I mean... So they shot. So they shot him, and and you know my family knows quite a few people that have unfortunately died away from home. Like the money that you have to pay to get the body back, mm. uh, the laws that you have to go. It's it's a hassle. Uh, but what I was trying to say was, uh, oh, the hospital. Blah, blah. So what was intriguing to me is that he got shot on X night, and the next night uh, he was in Boston. Yeah, they flew him. Yeah, the Red Sox. Red Sox flew him right to Boston. And while I was so happy that that happened, somehow it goes back to my classism conversation earlier in music. Boy, I would love that even more if everybody could do it. <laughs> yeah. I would love I would love that move so much more if I could go to DR, get shot and then be have my shot body flown after surgery to the hospital of my choice in the city of my choice. Mm. What a luxury, man. Mm-hmm. What a, some wealthy people have it good. They said uh, that during his surgery, he said, uh, uh, "Don't let me, uh, don't let me die. I'm a good man." Mm-hmm. I could see that being said during a surgery, and I could see you having that concern at the hospital over there. I could see it being so much of a concern that you call your old team and they flight your ass back to. Uh, and I'm so happy about that. So please don't take me cursing as some form of disdain. It's not. I am super happy about that. Big Poppy is one of the uh, uh, more beloved baseball players. He's so beloved that we ignored his steroid usage. Did he use steroids? Yes. And was that reported? Is that like so? His name was on the list with everybody else. We just love him, and he was oh, winning. Yeah. So we we ignored it. We ignored it, but his name was on that list. Same list we killed a whole bunch of Yankees for. It was David Ortiz there, but that's not important. That's not the more that what, what I'm getting at right now. Mm-hmm. What I'm getting at right now is boy, that's wow, man. Must be nice. You know, we hate when people say that, but. Must be nice. So thank God. Thank God that he was able to get the treatment that he need, uh, so desperately needed. Thank God that he is safe and well. Thank God that they captured the uh, assailant. One beat, of them. Beat one of them. One got away. 
but they beat one of them real good. Yeah. Oh no, but that's how Dr. is. They, if you see, you're a thief or you do things like that, and David Ortiz is one of the most beloved figures out of the country. He's probably their biggest export. Um, so for him to be attacked like that in in that area, popular area where people are out dining and clubbing, I mean, you I only expected for them to catch them and 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 mm-hmm. have street justice because that's just how Dr. is. If you break into somebody's home, and you know they don't they don't tolerate none of that shit down there. Mm-hmm. Like they done, they not waiting for the police. They not. <laughs> we got it. The, the the block got it. The neighborhood got street it. Street justice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Hove clearly wasn't talking about Dr. No, <laughs> streets are very much alive. Yeah, they're 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 alive. That shit is different down in Dr. Trust yeah. me. Um, what else is there to get to? I want to take a moment. Uh, you got something? Uh, well, this was just reported. Adrian Balon admits she can't go more than twelve hours without sex or masturbating. That would be a really rough relationship. <laughs> What's on <her> Instagram? <laughs> Mo. A D. No. She talks about sex and masturbating. I have so much to not, say about this. <laughs> How old is she? I have such an interesting She's take not, and angle not on 33? this. Thirty-three, thirty-four. You're probably mid thirties, I would imagine. Okay. <laughs> That thing turn, boy. Adrian Balon is <laughs> 12 hours. Him. Most thighs are shaking. And I want to shout out to Adrian Balon. Adrian Balon is getting a whole lot of money on, on her show. Good for her. She's getting a whole lot of money I like on Adrian Balon. A whole lot of sex, too. I like Adrian Balon as well. Adrian Balon is married to the pastor dude, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, cool. He ain't hitting that thing right. Hmm? He ain't hitting that thing right. <laughs> Boy, you How do you know? know? What are you talking about? He, she married him. That means he's hitting it right. All right, listen. Do you, do you, <laughs> I know a lot of women listen, that are Maul, like, be not happy. Be respectful of married people. All right. What? I take it back. You know Maul is not on my list worth. of who I would leave alone. Yeah. With my like, what are y'all, 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 <laughs> what? y'all are crazy. What did I do? <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> what did I do? Nothing. She at... just came out and said hey, she needs my sex. Brother. My right. brother. <laughs> she just came out and said that. Y'all acting like I pulled this out of nowhere. She yeah. made the statement. Yeah, but now you already ready to squat, man. Relax. No, I'm, Relax. I'm chilling, man. Nigga, hit, his, hit, his, hit the squat button no, for the view. man. I'm, 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 <laughs> Maul's definitely pulling up to the view. No. You trying to squat to the talk. Nah, man. I'm just responding. I'm just reacting to the culture. <laughs> oh my God! The all right, culture. All right. the, no, oh, that's the culture. not the culture. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's my not, bad. Uh, I thought Adrian Baylon was want, the culture. She, sometimes, but now okay. she wants to have sex every twelve hours. Okay. Relax, Th- relax. That sounds like the culture to me. <laughs> what culture is that? What you, can you, I sign? You, you ready to subscribe? <laughs> <laughs> sex every twelve? Yeah, I, I would I'll sign never up. Never sign up to that. Are you I'll sign me? up. Sex every twelve. I'm cool. This is This goes back to now. No more. She said sex or masturbate. So, you know. There's That's nothing the for us to sex about every 12 hours. <laughs> no. It, sorry. You ain't even cute again 12 hours later. <laughs> you got to go. Your touch still is trash. Like, I'm still sh- <laughs> trembling. <laughs> yeah. That's cool for, like, a vacation, and we just met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, word. You got a weekend of that type of sex, so pick yeah. it. Pick it. I'll turn it out that weekend, but I'm going back. I'm going to turn it back into Joe <laughs> Short, <laughs> shortly after, so don't expect much. You going to give him Turks, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get me started. Yeah, your sex is just <laughs> sex is just better when you like in a nice hotel, or when you like her. Well, yeah, I, I would hope that you like your girlfriend. Well, That's you how I say know girlfriend. Never you just been said sex, and I said sex is better when you're in a nice hotel. Hotel. That didn't say nothing about a girlfriend. That just said At sex all. is better in a nice hotel. And, and I'm just, saying, well, if you have, and a, then I said, if you like her too, and then you said, well, you should like your girlfriend. Yeah, I wasn't talking I've about had some great sex with girls I didn't particularly like. Let me tell you, the quick alley oop slam dunk is telling a complete stranger, yo, let's dip to Bali. Who's doing that? Not dip me. To ba- How well, long is that flight? <laughs> well, not Bali, but I mean anywhere, anywhere, anywhere like that, you're gonna get a yes. And drunk niggas do it real quick. Niggas is crazy. That's nah, you drunk. Get it off. You can't take it. You can't take it. <laughs> but that's, I'd be confused. Yo, you, yo, you're missing out on prime drunk nah, talk. <laughs> you get to turn it out. Whole, yo, what you doing tomorrow, man? Get, nah, pack, get, pack up. Yeah, give me a birthday. Pack up. We out here. Nigga, I'm asleep tomorrow. I don't even what know, are you talking about? I don't even know your last yeah, name. Yeah, nigga, tomorrow I'm watching first take. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> you just got to get it over here. What, what you doing tomorrow, man? Yo, that's get your eyebrows down in Hong Kong. Fly but right you, back. Yeah, but you know what, though? Some <laughs> niggas is getting that off, though. No, I'd be confused with my friends with a little bit of money that, that do that with women in the flight be like 12 hours. I'm like, you realize you have to come back with her, too. No, you don't. <laughs> you always book her yeah, day. Yeah. You, don't, you don't have to No, go back. I've seen them book the round trip, same nah, seat next to each other. I'm like, what? all right, it'll be great on the way there, even though 12 hours is way too long, well, did, you don't know. Did, Taking did, a vacation with a girl you don't know is just it's so, it's so that's weird. Wild. That's did their grandma die? Excuse me? Did their grandma die? Was their grandma alive? 
I'm, I didn't inquire about that when I heard they were flying a woman they didn't no, know. No, once somewhere. your grandma died, you could leave before them. Okay, cool. <laughs> Like, yo, my grandma I gotta died. gotta get back. Yeah, your shit is good, though. Tomorrow. My grandma died. I gotta get back. I gotta tell you when. That's crazy. How many grandmas do you have? Um, I had two. <laughs> <laughs> they both died. How, yeah. how many times? <laughs> Rest in peace, Jimmy. I love you. And Elnora. I love my grandma. My grandma was great, man. Family went to fucking shit after that. <laughs> that's how we know, but that's how it usually Sleepers. goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, not sleeping, not sleeping, not sleeping. Yeah, nah, come on. The hey, we need to hear more about that from the black families. How when, when uh, Big Mama died, how it went to shit. Uh, yeah, uh, if we had a call a call in button, <laughs> I would love for y'all to call in Share some and, of the and tell me about how the family is just shitty now. You and your brother ain't spoke since <laughs> since you died. The uncles don't fuck with <laughs> each other no yeah, more. Y'all, y'all uncle almost killed y'all the yeah. uncle last week yeah. at the barbecue. <laughs> your uncle had it on him. You had to stop it. <laughs> grandma, he'll, he'll kill Gerald. Grandma died. <laughs> grandma died. Your uncle. Show up to the cookout with a new earring and a chain. Yeah, yeah. What you, what you doing, man? That, that's <laughs> what you did with the will money. <laughs> that, damn, you blew it. <laughs> Niggas will blow the grandma will money, right? Shit is crazy, man. Shit is crazy. I blew that stack. Stack. <laughs> you killed him with that stack. Yeah, Michael Paul got way more than me. I was like, all right, Grandpa. <laughs> I see, see, what, I, yeah, see what's see, going on here. I, I, I see the vibe. <laughs> uh, and I'm joking, by the way. Uh, rest in peace to all my grandparents. I love them. We are so family first. Uh, where else? Where? Uh, oh, before we go, and we've been recording way too long for vacation podcast. I thought I was trying to get out of here. I want to salute Smack. I want to salute Beasley, and I want to salute every rapper except for that Jack nigga that John John battled that graced the stage at No. Why you ain't at, him up? That nigga was a bum that's why he was trash and I don't know what John John was doing why he was battling him if we never see him again it'll be too soon he need right. to go he need to go somewhere <laughs> On, that that car just wasn't and I mean not disrespecting him because he might not be nice I don't know I, I mean he might be okay I don't know much about him that night he mm-hmm. shouldn't have been there he shouldn't have been there he should have been let in the building he shouldn't have had guest tickets he shouldn't have had an Uber Eats he shouldn't have had anything John John killed him now with that battle to the side oh John John killed him uh Av killed Arsenal. Arsenal, I love you. Jersey to the death, but you lost that one. I'm sorry. Uh, Ice knows you lost. Anytime Ice says Arsenal 2-1, he knows you lost. Uh, uh, And Pat Stay smoked Suge. Even that was an entertaining battle. But Pat Stay is just Pat Stay. He's nice. He's real nice. He looked nice. He was dressed nice. Now, what a night of just great battles, man. I paid $55 pay-per-view as a bored single nigga on a Saturday with no playoff game. I didn't know that, by the way. When I asked for the link, I didn't know that you had to like... I thought it was just like a free... Battle thing and the link was somewhere, but no. you had to buy it, like you download buy, the app. Everything that we have spoken about, and they've been doing this for a while with the pay per view shit and yeah. the battle rap. And I support them when they do it. Uh, Smack has an app, but pay per view events are not allowed on the app, so I didn't get the app. It was the pay per view. I paid fifty five dollars and was entertained for six hours. Yeah, that's right. It's a good deal. Yeah, you can't beat it. Yeah. You cannot beat it. If they were able to do that more. If they were able to hit, get the correct sponsorship mm. to where they could do that every other month with mm. that type of card, whatever that cost, oh my fucking God. What a card. Mm. Surfing Gucci. I mean, Gucci. Classic. Mm. Surfing Gucci. Classic battle, however you want to call it. Whoever, whoever you have winning, I'm fine with. Surf I have Surf winning that easy. He real niggered him to death. I do think Surf cheated a little bit. Not cheated, but I think that his second round was really his third round. I think he moved his third to his second. I think Geechee was getting too busy in the second. You had to counteract that. And I'm not mad at that because wherever uh, Surf put that third round of his, he lost. If you put that round in his second against Geechee's second, he loses. And if you put it in the third against Geechee's like he did, he lost. Uh, but he didn't do that. He used his third. I, I had Surf winning the first two rounds. Geechee winning the last one. Uh, Lux and Verb put on a fucking show. Mm. I got my money's worth. I got my $55 worth. I have Lux mm. winning that. The same thing. Uh, two to one with Verb winning the third. Lux winning the first two. But I'll tell you something. In battle rap. Uh, that convenient, you know, convenient amnesia, uh, uh, recent memory plague that hits. Y'all, we don't really acknowledge the two, the 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 two to one win where the one is the third round win. Mm-hmm. When the niggas swept the first two rounds and then the last guy got the third, it's confusing because the other guy got the third and now it's confused. Oh, he got the third. My recent Y'all memory, your last he killed. Year. Man. Y'all better go back and listen to uh, Surf vs. Geechee and Lux vs. Verb. Classics. Mm. Classics. 
Lux, every time Lux performs, he's just uh, he, he's different. Just so, different. He's just his wordplay and his uh his delivery is just so beyond everybody else. And and Verb did. I do want to give it up to Verb though. It, Don't do that. I got to give it up to Verb. No, no, no. I, I got to give it up I, to Verb too. No, no, he no, showed I will, up. I will say. I will say. He but rapped. That, but that was the, That was part of Lux's play. He said, if he just land one hit, y'all gonna be. You know, and up and all about it. Like y'all gonna be like, oh shit! Like he doing this thing, and it's like that was part. That scheme has been played mad times, though. Don't do that. That is that was part of Lux's play. Yeah, Verb proved that he can rap absolutely in the same ballpark. But with Lux, but Lux, that was proven before the battle because Lux would have never took that battle had he felt like Verb couldn't. But what he was saying was, Verb might feel like it's a little closer than it is. Than it is, and. I think Lux showed. Well, let me like tell you, you can rap. You would you 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 you're you're definitely your name is cemented in this in this in this in this in this genre. Well, let me. T- but but most what people I have do, verb winning that. Oh no! Now, mind you, the footage, yeah, more the, the footage hasn't that. come out, no. and you know, and I and, and and people be shitting on Lux because they don't understand him and their brains are stupid. And that's what it is. Like they be saying, "Oh, Lux is saying a lot of filler." I didn't hear no filler. No. no oh no, he was punching away. No, no, no. he was mm-hmm. giving it to him. Uh, but Verb did extremely well, man. Uh, and and that's how you know that I just give Lux all the props, cause, cause Verb, you gave him all the props. You coming in there and rapping at the level that you rap, that wasn't the same Verb that I saw against K Shine. Mm-hmm. It's like rappers know when they got to get up for niggas. Oh yeah, yeah. So that that, that was, was the, the only part that was confusing. Verb coming in there saying, "Yo, all y'all niggas treating this nigga like a god." No, Verb, you treat him like that too. You yeah, know you how do. you got to rap. You, you know who you in the ring. Yeah, you you know what's going on. Lux is real. Lux is super nice, man. And I, I don't in want his head. I got a Whitney a nigga in Houston. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't want a dicky. But it's really hard if you're a wordsmith to not be uh, in awe of some of the things that Lux does with words, even if you have him losing. Because let me Lux tell you, super because let me tell you something. Even that third round where he lost clearly, he clearly, clearly lost that third round. Guess what? That verse was still art to me. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. I like, like, I can't wait to watch like it. when Lux raps, it's truly art. Now, will all these? It's not a battle anymore. It's I'm putting this these words here. Watch this flip in the. It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different, man. Will all these be available on the app? Because that's you what know I was what? confused I'm, about on the app. No, I don't think I don't think pay per view battles are are allowed on the app but if you purchase the pay-per-view i think you're allowed to go back and watch i was gonna I, say can i, I still go in and purchase that because i didn't watch um yeah i think you can purchase it and still watch uh and i need to watch a few of those battles again but i want to salute verb lux geech uh geechy uh geechy surf k shine and nitty and rum nitty put on a fucking show it was at least it was quite a few shows in there man smack what an amazing event. Uh lived up to the hype. This is not an ad. I'm not being paid to say say any of these things. And I ain't seen a card like that in a long time. The only thing missing from that card for me was JC. Uh but wow, what a card. I encourage anybody to go look at just a night full of amazing battles. I never seen a night where even the clear losses were entertaining. Mm. Like Arsenal versus uh Av was entertaining. Mm. Don't matter who you thought won. Hey, I don't care who y'all thought won that night because that's all debatable. It's all debatable. Mm. What's a fact is Smack and culture Beasley won. Culture won. did they fucking thing. They picked up, hey, all that nonsense and chaos and drama that came with trying to throw events in New York. They said, fuck that. I'm out. I get a better deal in Houston. I'll fly my people to Houston. I'll be able to film. They had sexy lights in the air. It looked different. It what, looked like they, a battle. Like, you know what I mean? Where they did that? Houston. Houston. I don't no, know I'm where. I, I, come on. That's, that's your hood, Rory. I don't know. <laughs> no, maybe they said it. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, the sponsor, he kept shouting out Uber Eats. Finally, you fed niggas, smack. <laughs> you know how many events me and Maul have been to and said we won't go back because we can't do nine hours and not eat? <laughs> like, not, smack did it. Yo, he did it right. He did it right. My hat is off to you, man. I really enjoyed my Saturday night as a single nigga with nothing to do with $55 in the television. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Hey, let me know how I can contribute to the next one. Mm. Let me know how I can support. Like, how can I be a resource? How can I be of service? Because 
out all and I'll do that all day. Mm-hmm. $55 for five hours of shit? I tweeted that whole day in real time. <laughs> yeah. That was, was exciting. Dope. All them the niggas audio, showed up. The audio was right. They all showed up. They all showed up. Hey, man, round of applause to the fucking battle rap community, goddammit. Every last one of y'all, losers included, did y'all fucking job and showed up, had three rounds. Hey, I miss Twerk, too. JC and Twerk. I would have loved to see both of them both of them there. And I think Surf had to show out like that because he, he knew Twerk was in the building. Man, He had to let Twerk know a little something. <laughs> yeah, let's work. I, like I feel like Surf is still underrated for some reason, though. I don't know how. No, nah. you think? Surf I think so, man. I think, I think I, Surf gets his props. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think he gets rapper. the props he deserves, though. Like Surf is really good. Surf can really uh, battle you, you rap. Yeah. That's my nigga. You gotta give my niggas they flowers. Surf said, "I come out <laughs> waving the arms through the door." Hold the elevator. <laughs> hey, my son was in his bag. Uh, I ain't got to wear my flag. My arms don't be by my face. Hey, Surf never got shot. He might be trash, man. He got, yeah. He talk, hey, Surf talk that real nigga shit, and I get the feeling it. I thought I wanted to shoot somebody. I'll be honest, man. Look at my son. Look at my son. That's right. My nigga did get shot like an idiot, stayed in the streets. <laughs> So we got to. <laughs> no, I love Surf, man. Well, that night, hey, next podcast, I'm going to call Surf. Uh, until then, guess what? Vacation time, bitches. Sorry. <laughs> uh, do we got sleepers? Well, no, nah, we going to talk about the finals at all? Yeah. Uh, Raptors in seven. Period. I'm with you. I still think Warriors. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I would love I to know. see Toronto get a get a ring, but you're going to see it. Last night, Keep was your eyes night open. they were supposed to close out last oh, night. They're closing now game seven. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Yeah. No, they're not. And you know it. Well, you owe me three hundred dollars because you lost game. I owe you two hundred dollars. It was double or nothing. Double, now we double talking. Double nothing usually means double the bet. Yeah, yeah it was a hundred. That's corny. What do you mean? <laughs> we bet a hundo. And we you doubled lost. that. That's two hundred. So you owe me three hundred. No, I owe you two hundred, Joe. We, know, we didn't bet three times. What double, if you bet a hundred, I never knew what double, double nothing, nothing is. So tell me, you're, you're doubling, ne- double it or nothing at all. Yeah, so it does. I know that's what double I want to. Yeah, so, like so, what it says. I know. So listen to me. We bet game three. I lost a hundred dollars. He lost. Yeah. Right. So he owes me a hundred. Right. Game four comes. He says double or nothing. That means the game four wager is. Double the last wager no, or that's nothing. Not, that's, that's what, not what I thought that meant. That's not what that, that means. That's what the that game mean four yeah. is two hundred, and no. you lost. No, no, no. So yeah. now two hundred and one hundred is three hundred. Oh, I, I didn't know he owed you the other hundred. So, not, so, so for the next game, he's wrong. when he's we wrong. bet he's, triple he's or wrong. nothing, he's wrong. He's wouldn't wrong. it be nine hundred? No. What? No. What, are you, wait, what? What college you went? High school you went to? <laughs> what are you talking about? Three times three hundred is no. That's not. No, that's not how it goes, it. Joe. It would the original bet is a hundred dollars. Yes. So we lost. only. So you, triple the hundred. Right. So you only tripled wait, the so hundred. So what does yeah. double or nothing mean? Double, double means the double the hundred, hundred which is two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, most correct. What are you talking about? So we only betting a hundred dollars on each game. Right, so, so if I lose the first game, not if you say double or nothing. Yeah, I that think mean, double yeah. or nothing means that you're upping the ante. It's double, or, or I get nothing. Right. So why would it be I? Why would otherwise that would be bring the back? Why would I say I'm not I'm wrong? Betting, man. I'm betting another one hundred, but I'm willing to get nothing back. Well, you don't say double or nothing because Maul lost. He says, I say I double, double or nothing. nothing. Let's bet it back. Meaning if I win, or, I don't win. I don't, you I don't just get, get nothing. Double 100 is 200. Yeah. So if you lose, it's 200 plus 100. No, it's not. No, it's Joe, you're, double, you you're, you're doubling the $100 okay, bet. I'm going to no. make it simple for you. No, that's not yeah, true. they're wrong. Yes, no, you guys no, are wrong. You guys are wrong. No, not wrong. Yes, you are. How many times have you been gambling? How are you going to tell me I'm wrong? No, you are wrong talking about. I told you what I'm talking about. Listen what I'm saying. It was $100 on the table. Right, that was our first bet. Bet a hundred. We arguing double right? nothing right now. Bet a hundred. We're going on vacation. Cool. <laughs> bet the hundred. I lost. So you so owe me a hundred. Yes. So when so you now say I said, double or nothing, what listen, does that mean? let me. I'm gonna walk you through it. So now if I say double or nothing, meaning if I win this next bet, I don't owe you anything. If you win this next bet, I owe you two hundred dollars. Boom. So then now you said you want to, you want to, you now you now in the kitchen moving forward to our full uh, conversation. Now you said you want to triple or nothing on game seven. That's what you said, right? You said triple or nothing. So meaning if I lose, if 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 the, if the Raptors lose, I owe you three hundred dollars. And oh, if no, they win, oh, I don't, I don't owe you anything. Right. Oh, I would never make the bets that you're saying because that's the dumbest, most idiotic bet How? in the universe. Where I get, I am wagering the same thing, but you 
get to just lower the shit. I'm betting. How am I lowering anything? Owes, he owes you double. That's not true. No, no, he don't. Not in what y'all saying. What I'm betting the talk? same bet every game. And what you just said it's to me is a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. No, you don't owe him. If exactly. you end up winning, you owe him nothing. Do we have sleepers? That's how it goes. If I win, you don't owe me anything. And I don't. I, I, that's it. The bet is over. Do we have sleepers? <laughs> like, I've never get done nothing, nothing before. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Nigga said nine hundred. I have no, what? Yeah, I still don't. Where know did what that y'all math come about. from? From and then Bob's double double like, nothing. y'all are wrong. No, we're not wrong. 100 and 200 is 300. And 300 times 3 no, is Joe, 900. No. No. Double and nothing doesn't mean 200. It yes, it does. All right, let's say That's we're... double 100. What the fuck are y'all saying? Okay, let's change it. No, yeah, I'm never yeah, going right. to right. 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 change it to $20. Change it to $20 then, Joe. You're right. You're right. It's two. You're right. And two right. times 100 you're right. is 200. Do you only do double and nothing with $100? No, you don't. So when you add that to 100, it's 300. No, you can yell all you want. You're wrong, bro. I don't care. I'm wrong. I'm you only paid do double or nothing yelling. with hundred dollars? No. If it was twenty dollars, it'd be forty dollars. You're wrong. Like I've gambled. <laughs> You're wrong, bro. I'm just trying to tell you what it is. Like I, I don't a, know where you get nine hundred from. That's the crazy from, shit. From three times three hundred. But we never bet three hundred three times. <laughs> tri- tri- what are you talking when about? You say triple or nothing, and the number is three hundred. Triple times three hundred. No, the winner no, it's a hundred dollar bet. bet. Triple is the third it's bet. Off the hundred times three. Uh, uh, that's what you're saying. I don't know what you who agrees to that. Anyway, hey, gambling, hey, nigga. Let's keep. Go let's to the casino and go to the casino and try let's, that. Let's math. keep betting the hundred. Yeah, I know. Go to the Listen, casino and try that uh, math and lay your pay me my nine hundred. Do we have you want three hundred dollars sleepers? Yo, you labels, you labels. You know what I mean? Let me get this shit off before I give leaving vacation uh, y'all don't know what y'all doing and y'all hear that we know what we're doing why don't you hire us for something <laughs> <laughs> y'all are fucking clueless <laughs> like we will consult us and jim <laughs> we'll help out and that's all i got man extra long podcast before vacation i didn't plan on this i plan on giving them an hour and dipping <laughs> uh but man we love the people Yes. <laughs> we love the people. Let's pray that uh, no really groundbreaking news breaks in the next 10 days. Oh, please. It's going to happen. It is, right? The greatest thing in the, the last greatest, 25 yeah, years is going to break. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And then we'll be mad that we're on vacation. Yeah, yeah no. Then right. we'll just uh, IG live each other. Hey, how <laughs> four Yo, way. what you thought? Like, Maul, stand up. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that kind of party, Maul. Don't squat on IG live. Uh, listen, man, this was amazing. I want everybody to enjoy their weekend, enjoy their fathers. They enjoy their summer. Be wealthy. Be uh, be healthy. Be well. Be, be merry. Uh, be wealthy. Be wealthy. If not in uh, if not in money, then definitely in spirit. I want to thank each of you guys for listening. Uh, please uh, wait. What's my little line that I fucking say? Uh, oh, uh, life is a series of moments and. Moments pass. And moments pass. Something about last. Uh, life cash. is a series. Yeah. Of, uh, parts. The I gas. didn't say cash. <laughs> I didn't say cash or gas. Life is a series of moments. I'm, 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 I'm Rory. I'm like, hey, with me and Savon are in Miami this week. Uh, <laughs> wait, who, wait a, who are y'all? Y'all two need a name. Relax. Oh, yeah. We're, we're Savon and the Ducam. <laughs> that, that is what we the are. Ducam. Uh, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So please make this one last. If it's as if it's all that we have keep us in your prayers lord knows we need to be there remember they fuck kevin durant up. remember don't do it for perception do it for reflection until the next time Woo, you should have never been out there you would do hey <laughs> yeah hey hold up man let me get a gunshot should have never been out there get the gunshot up. <laughs> they right. fucked him up should have never been out there his Achilles was torn in May. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Enough Another of your day. weather and sports. <laughs> we, we are going on vacation. Just trying to help, bro. Listen, you have fun with your retired athletes, uh, ballers and bitches. Uh, Rory, you no, have mixie, fun. Mixie, mixie boys going to be your, in L.A. and not see each other. Bri- with your bridge oh, I'll blueprints. Be the <laughs> Parks, you have fun at the denim store. <laughs> Everybody have a blast, man. Listen, try not to miss us too much. Remember the following Wednesday, uh, Saturday and Wednesday, we will not be we will not be available. We will be back the Saturday after that. Uh, everybody have a blast out there. Enjoy the cookout, and we will see you guys when we are back from vacation. Spotify, gang, 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 gang. You heard? No, 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 no,